Who boy, good old Half-Life 2. I got reminded of, um, so they're, recently they released some document file of, like, potential Half-Life Episode 3 thing. I did not actually read it, and I'm not sure I want to ever read it, but, um, it got me kind of in the mood to play, excuse you, some Half-Life 2. So, I'm here, and I'm play some Half-Life 2. Um, mouse acceleration, no. Mouse filter. Nah. Um, leave that on normal. You know how old this game is. This game is so old, um, when it started up, the resolution was in 1167 by 660. What, what even is that resolution? Oh yeah, I, I remember when I first got this game, I, I had to get a video card just to play it. Uh, I I don't think I've ever had I have ever had a like proper video card before that, um, and I couldn't run it on the highest settings, but it still looked freaking amazing. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, let's just put all that crap up to the max. Water reflect all anti-aliasing. Uh, yeah, wait for virtual sync. No, multi-core, FOV. What what is the recommended field of view anyway? I never really I don't really mess with that much. Seventy five sounds low, but oh, I hate motion blur. We're gonna leave that off actually. Should we? I guess I'll. Yeah. Windows arrow extensions. Uh, I don't think you, that's even a thing you can do anymore. Um. Yeah, it has been a while since I streamed, isn't it? Uh, I think we're all set up. When I first got this game, I think it has to actually apply now. Yeah, there's some less jaggy. Wait a minute, it undid. I wonder. Is this a game I can go... even higher with the uh, MSA? Let's try four. This is a pretty freaking old game. I can't really tell the difference with the... Those wires still look pretty aliased. But hey, son. And yeah, it has been a while. Still not sure if I'm going to stay with Twitch, but... Uh, since I didn't really stream much of August, I figure I'll at least start here. Oh, it doesn't even remember. I guess the last time I played it was before cloud saves were even a thing. So I don't even have any of my progress. Um, I noticed that I didn't have any achievements in this. I... I think achievements were introduced with ha with episode two, and they had that one with uh, where you had to bring that stupid gnome the whole way through. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Oh, we'll show it up for Rise the intro. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until. Well, let's just say your hour has come again. G-Man is one of my favorite characters in like the all right of games. man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. He's so creepy. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Default FOV. Uh, this FOV seems okay. I don't know. It just seems like Half Life. It's fine. I actually played this on a 4.3 monitor the first time. Uh, it was a big old. It was a giant CRT. It actually had pretty good resolution and went up to 100 hertz, but only on lower resolutions. CRTs are weird. Um, did you know that if you play a CRT on a lower resolution, you don't have the issues that flat uh, that uh, LSDs have with lower res. They actually look fine. Also, these are not doors. That's not what a door looks like. But whatever. Oh, this game also has really good uh, captions. Valve games always do. It's pretty impressive. Very few games actually bother doing that. Can I, there we go. This... If you're... Oh god, what year did Half-Life 2 come out again? 2005? 4? 
but this this was the most amazing thing. If you had just got Half-Life 2, you would just you would spend the first like 20 minutes dicking around with random physics objects, and it was those physics objects were already the best game you'd ever played. Look at that. It's it's still pretty cool. Freaking, we got a Vortigaunt over here. 2004. That sounds about right. Hey, Mr. Rosen, am I playing the whole game? Uh. Probably, probably not tonight. It's a pretty long game, I think. It's all I have left. Screw you. Uh -oh. No. I think you actually can't get hurt if you don't have the heads-up display. Welcome to City 17. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're they're being nice though, letting me wait for him. Sure, he's gonna be he's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm doing this to you gotta you gotta calm down. This is therapy. They, there you go. Oh, oh. There you go. <laughs> Physics are very good. Beautiful. Breen's such an asshole. I don't even know how long it- oh. <laughs> Cut phone line. It must have taken me 20 minutes to leave this damn train station the first time I played. Just picking up crap. That's enough of that. <laughs> don't talk to the people. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. I'll make you forget. No more. Have Stop. you forgotten yet? Huh? Cut it out. <laughs> Best game. What's up, buddy? Departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they never leave. They do a really good job of setting up the atmosphere here. They got some of these propaganda posters. Apparently, there was like there's a whole bunch of beta propaganda posters that was gonna be it was gonna be a whole big thing. And I guess they kind of decided that the Combine are powerful enough, they don't really need propaganda to that extent, so... They don't really have any of the subtle ones. Again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that to you. See, Dr. Breen was retconned to be the administrator, never referred to by name, in Half-Life 1. Which I might play later or something. Ow. Rude! One is plenty, jeez. But, but but I want to go this way. No. no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. For science, I need to do something. Ah. Hold on. Ah. Oh, no. Invisible walls. Why? You can stop that any time now. I want to file a complaint about this. Fine. I'll get off your head. That guy doesn't like it when you stand on his head. I think you can actually do a tiny bit of damage when you jump on things' heads in the main game. It probably we probably can't kill this guy though. It's Tenova's prospect with us. Oh, you never beat it? Hello, suspiciously different voice man. Oh man, Ravenholm was so good. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Now oh, open for me. What if I don't get in? The unfortunate thing is you can't go crazy like in the intro of Half-Life 1. You can just use Impulse 101 and shoot everything up, but... NPCs are invincible in this game anyway. To a degree, anyway. About that beer I owed you. It's Barney. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with Civil Protection. I can't take too long, or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney. What is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon, it's every scientist from the facility. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. 
He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney. <laughs> what did I do to Barney? I'm thinking. No, I'm thinking. Float. Yes. Is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh, well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking. Barney's investigating cities. teleport or er, levitation, uh, rather. Gordon, good to see you. Oh, do you want okay, a Gordon. You're do you want a bucket? Make your own way to do Dr. Kleiner's lab. Yes, bucket. No. Man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, bucket. Gordon, before you blow my cover. No, where the bucket, Barney? We have we have become bucket brothers. You have to put on the bucket. Ah. Oh. There's no time to waste here, Gordon. Get a move on. He can't wear the bucket. I will leave you with the book. Oh, you have beat it. To get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll beat up with you later. Ravenholm was a really cool part. I'm not sure if I'll get to that tonight. That's quite a ways in. Freaking box puzzles. You gotta have some classic box puzzles. Oops. I feel a little bit... Oops. Rest in peace, box. Ooh, now I can hurt people with these. Get out of my way, door. This is normal to... Is it normal to hardly understand the story in this game? Because I had played and beat Half-Life 1 of Lucia to understand this game. Uh, what don't you understand? I mean, certain things like... Whoa! Oh, science. I love physics. Alright. No, oh. Frick. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Whee! Aren't physics beautiful? Alright, let's take this barrel with me. Even with uh, with an SSD, those loading times are, do take a little bit, I guess. But uh, there's certain things in the game, like uh, G-Man, that aren't properly explained. Um, it's a few loose ends, of course, but uh, things are reasonably understandable, I think. Pick up your face! Ow. Ow. Rude. Please. <laughs> Rude. Oh, what you got? You got a bag of chips? Give me that rations. What, what are these delicious rations? No. Give them. Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concerns. Oh yeah, there's a suppression field suppressing human breeding for reasons. Uh, the kind of there's a few things that aren't really entirely mentioned, but you kind of pick up. Like um, the reason everybody is in their twenties is because the Black Mesa incident was twenty years ago, and the combine turned on the suppression field. Um, like apparently immediately, so there are there just actually are no kids. It's a pretty common video game thing to just not have kids because you don't want to get kill kids killed because of the ESRB. Well, like kill your family if you do that. But um, yeah, Alex is like one of the last, like the youngest people left alive. Oh, get some nice, delicious brain water that is totally not. Uh, Filled with chemicals to make you forget things. Oh, give me some more. Yes. More. This was actually one of the cool things in the original Half-Life was uh, working vending machines. Oh no! We ran out. And you could get like a single HP, I think, from the vending machines in, in Black Mesa. I don't really understand the dystopian world. Like, he used to be a scientist and everything is alright, and now the Combine here in Citadel. Um, the Combine came through a portal storm that was caused by uh, the Black Mesa incident. And Mr. Asshole here is a human collaborator who uh, works with the Combine. Don't you take pictures of me! The Combine are more of an organization. Um, we don't exactly see their species. It's made up of multiple species. Um, Metro Cops are just plain old humans. Um, the later enemies, like the Soldier Combine, are transhumans. They have, you know, 
body parts chopped up and various things done to them. But uh, Metro Cops are just plain old asshole humans that are uh, on the side of the Combine. And um, we don't exactly see what a Combine, like the Combine is more of like the name of their empire. Um, you do see one of the lead aliens. We see that quite a bit later, though. What's going on here? No, I need to see. I need to see what's in the thing. Oh, whatever. You're no fun. Some good old-fashioned graffiti. And beyond this point, we I don't think we really see too much propaganda stuff. Oh, and it's set in Eastern... Um, somewhere in Eastern Europe. Somewhere... Doesn't really matter exactly what country. Aw, oh, did I miss the Strider? Aw, oh, tell me I didn't. Aw, oh, I think I did. I was dawdling too much. Can I stand on this? Ow. Crap. Aw. Oh. There's supposed to be a Strider that walks past there. I think it was too slow. I don't know if we get to see it for a while. That sucks. This game has so many cool cinematic things that it doesn't, like, actually force you. Like, they're not cutscenes, they're, like, actually going on. And that felt super cool at the time. And, I mean, it's still pretty cool. I think that box was supposed to break. Oh, wait. Maybe it's here. You see somebody on the ground and... Probably dead. Oh. Where's the Strider, though? Man... Always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. They're brothers. They're, you know, they just have the same voice. It's fine. Oh yes, tic tac toe. You want to play tic tac toe chat? Oh, looks like you lost. There's still some aliens, but they're majority. No. Because most of the aliens are now military vehicular looking. Oh, if you mean the Zen aliens, uh, Black Mesa was slightly nuked, so nothing actually at Black Mesa survived. Well, that's not creepy at all. But yeah, this is kind of a hint that all of the children be gone because there's this creepy empty uh, thing. Not let me ride. Whoa! <laughs> Physics. I love physics. Um, like, no more dog things. The fat alien with the gun. Oh, yeah, the Zen aliens aren't really here. Um, other aliens got transported in through the portal storms. Um, and actually, the Vortigaunts aren't actually here because of Black Mesa. The Vortigaunts are here because of these assholes. The uh, Vortigaunts just happen to be enslaved by the uh, Combine. See, that's why most of the Zen aliens are missing. And head crabs. There still are head crabs. Like, there is va various alien fauna. But, uh. Most of the original Half Life stuff isn't here. There's head crabs, though, because you can't not have head crabs. They're classic. Wasn't G Man supposed to be. around there or something? I could swear this is one of the first areas you can see G-Man. I don't remember all of the G-Man spotting places, though. Hey, buddy. Want some milk? That's enough of that. I don't think it is. Watch it, will you? Have a chair. Stop that. <laughs> Cut it out. Best. No more. The antlions. Cut it out. Uh, the antlions were brought in with the portal storm, just like the uh, combines. Oh. I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Allow me to address this anxiety. Just this once, there you go. Ha! <laughs> Rip! I forgot you can break those windows. That warning siren is probably about us. Oh, no, out the window. Yeah! Oh, reaction, this buddy. Good. What's up? Here goes the rest of the neighborhood. They're definitely coming in here. Can't use. 
Door sound. Best, best cat closed caption. Door sound. Can't take it anymore. He's gonna be able to close it. What are we going to do? When is it all going to end? Don't worry. Please. The chair will solve your problems. Relax and submit to the chair. That's enough of that. No, it's not. Stop that. <laughs> You have a mattress. Oh, can I pick up? I can't pick up the mattress. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, excuse you. There you go. Oh, nice little bathtub here. Lighting is weird in here. Why, why is it multicolored? All right, I don't have my flashlight yet. Radiators become a potent weapon later, but Attention not yet. Residents. Wait, maybe it's here? We can find G-Man. No, hold on. I could have swore it was somewhere in this apartment block. Oh, no, I guess not. Prepare for judgment! It's a bit dramatic, don't you think? Just bathtub in the corridor. Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Oh, right. You guys don't seem to care much about the situation, do you? This guy's just like, no. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so, bye guys! Uh, have fun! Oh. Uh oh. Hey, I saw you're playing Axiom Verge. Fantastic game. And yeah, the, uh... The movement feels a lot better than NES Metroid. Now, honestly, even Super Metroid feels a little bit floaty and weird in some ways. Wait, let me see if I can find the Strider. I think it's gone. That's a shame. Oh, there's the Citadel. Ow. There's me being blind. Thank you. There's the good old Cit Citadel. I think it actually changes configurations. I need to keep an eye out for that. I was reading some stuff on the uh, Half-Life Wiki. Oh, 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 uh oh. Please do not shoot. Do not shoot the Freeman. I'm friend. Oops. <laughs> I could have broken that. Uh oh. ABCs. Petrol! You guys want some petrol? Don't drink the water, so just drink the petrol. It'll be fine. Why is the CP going house to house beating people? Um, some CP do that. Uh, they might have found resistance members. Those those last people we passed seem to be resistance members. We're malcontent, hooray! Yeah, some of the CPs just are assholes. Uh -oh. That's not good. Over here! Ha, no, you don't. <laughs> I tend to leave the subtitles on just because it's so neat to actually, or the closed captions, because it's so neat to actually have them. Dr. Freeman, I presume. We better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Is that chat thing, is that a little weird? It looks low res or something. Hold on. Transform, reset, transform. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was stretched a little bit. There we go. Weird. When I when I go into the menu, you don't see it. Coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Ooh. Wait. Where the hell is Quick Load? Oh, okay. Wee. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> this way, Gordon. Never mind that I'm dead. Can I get up? I doubt you can get up. They wouldn't want you to get up. No, you can't get up. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> She's a freaking ninja! Does she even have a gun? She's got like a stun baton, I guess. I don't, I don't know what that is. My father worked with you back no, no, what is that? I'm sure you don't remember me, though. 
a few words, aren't you? <laughs> to say the least. Axis. Even you got the the, the surest sign of post-apocalypticness. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Doctor. Is you gotta have some graffiti. And you gotta have some some born posters. I don't know why they all just happened to use the lambda symbol. It actually never initially occurred to me that you... Half-Life 1 ends in the lambda sector because lambda, the, the Half-Life logo. Hey, you showing up on this day but, in particular. Uh, yeah, that's why. Hello, friend. Out of the way. Oh, yes. Give me the sweet... Give me the sweet brainwash juices. Oh no! They're out! Today Alex, they're out! On the verge of having a better way. Alex, I need brainwash juice. Please. Here, let me buy you a drink. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Can I climb these? Yes. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Wait, lambda locator? What was that for? That was weird. I, I used to love just, just when it came out, it was just amazing in so many ways. And it still looks really damn good Dr. for a game that's what, 13 years old? Oh, here's... Where did she get to? <laughs> Lamar! Blast! Uh oh, everything's all right, Dr. Kleiner? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the freaking blood in the well, back uh, almost all right. of his thing. Lamar has like, oh, out of her crate again. what is he doing if now? I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. Yep, it's it me. It really is you, isn't it? You can tell because I'm a complete Warren asshole who jumps side. on people's heads like this. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't <laughs> Oh my god, I can stand on him! Deal to Dr. Freeman, even Amazing. If you guys don't mind? This is wake. fine. No, Alex. Alex. Ah. Oh. I must say, Gordon, you yes, come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Do you want cactus? Barney, do you want cactus? Here's cactus, Gordon, Barney. You stirred up the hive. Can you teleport other stuff? We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked on. Not teleport. Barney, he's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red letter. Piece. Yes. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? Bonk. For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing. Oh, to be here's the chum toy box. Yes, we've made major strides okay, probably not, since but... then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh dear, you're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. Huh. I I've think you can walk across this. Shift, but okay. Oh, no! <laughs> Get it? His shift? His blue shift, perhaps? Have a book, Barney. Ah, oh, it's my HUD suit! Oh. Ah, damn it! Get it off me! Lamar! Oh, let me throw hey, stuff at Lamar. You got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Oh, Lamar. Clear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely harmless. Debeaked. The worst you might do is attempt to. Why doesn't that box have collision physics? Fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not. Up Isn't the whole there. start of the game much no, of Ravenholm? No. Thanks to Lamar. Spoilers, Those but yes. Oh, fuck. she is It'll be a very naughty head crab. Coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney. You're not an animal person. That's not an animal. I <laughs> like you can tell it's a low poly well, model. Gordon, Look at that. Slip into your suit now. Oh, I I could I think G-Man is supposed to be on one of these, but once again I probably missed him. I don't remember all the G-Man sightings are. Um, we'll probably see at least one. Whoa. Didn't even mean to grab that. Uh, it's actually kind of neat that Half-Life kind of retconned the generic characters from Half-Life 1 into real people. So like, there was like 500 well, Barneys and 100 Kleiners. Like At least the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Button now sound. Let's... Button sound intensifies. 
The Mark V you got some tubes. You gotta have tubes if you're gonna do science. Obviously. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. I like how some of these have just laughably poor, like, low-quality right. textures and There's even... On the wall. Like, this is max quality everything. But, uh, modified your suit to draw power from things weren't exactly 1080p. Oh, right. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. But I want to break things. Aw, oh, yes! So appropriate. Good old CRT. This is what you played this game on. Probably. I mean, some people probably had flat screens, but, uh... I played it with a CRT. Oh, fired myself with it. Amazing. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our. Life. Eli is the only character who looks like he's actually aged. That's not who I think it is. Like a score, maybe Barney a little. And it's our he's graying a bit. Packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? Yeah, take the monitor with you. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self. There, it's going with her. Oh no! Don't don't fall out now. No. Uh, it'll probably be fine. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that fact. Initializing in three, two, one. There you go. So fiddlesticks. What now? <sighs> Our first physics puzzle. Uh, well, I guess there's a couple others. Right. Well, there's the box Gordon, puzzle. Would you if mind you want to call it a puzzle. Us in? I like this little hint right that, there, yes, pl plug it in here, stupid. There you go. So I always figured, so in Half-Life, there's like 300 Barneys. And then in like Blue Shift, you're Barney, but there's still other Barneys. And they have Barney's voice. So the way I always thought it was that Barneys are one. All of the Barneys, when a Barney dies, its spirit goes to the next Barney and he becomes stronger. So the reason this Barney is invincible, I'm, I'm explaining a thing. When when all of the other Barneys died, they all joined in to the Super Barney. He becomes the perfect Barney, uh, and that's why he's invincible. You better call me Doctor. I have a freaking PhD in theoretical physics. Do you know that? I never use it, but... Oh, I didn't take the monitor! Zap. <laughs> well, did it work? See for yourself. And that's what happened with Kleiner too. That's why he's he's extra smart. Because all the other Kleiners died. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right. Oh, hey Kleiner. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. <laughs> all right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon. They throw some good inside jokes at the whole complete lack of utility of any of Gordon's actual skills. Even in Half-Life 1, like, when he's doing his job normally, like, he pushes a little cart. He has a PhD in theoretical physics, and he pushes a cart into a thing. That's his job. They could have had a robot do it. There was literally no reason for him to be there. But whatever. The G-Man did it. It's fine. Oh! Lamar, no! Lamar, no! Stop! Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Oh. Pfft. Rest in peace, Lamar. He, he, she got a bird, so she's happy. I had forgotten that she could catch the bird. Hey, Mossman. <laughs> hey, asshole! Remember me? Oh, here's a good little... Not quite Easter egg. It's not an Easter egg if it's... I guess it's more of a callback. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. Oh. <laughs> 
nice safe dip. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's an Ichiosaur. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey, get out of here, asshole. I really enjoyed your opposing force because instead of being really smart and solving science problems and stuff, you're just a dumb military man. Most of the puzzles are kill things and break stuff. True. But there's still some puzzles, I think, in opposing force. But I kind of like the different personalities of the, uh, the different characters, like Barney. Barney has less... Well, I guess Barney does some science, too. Um... But like you get the you get the wrench as Adrian, and you get you get the more gung ho weapons. And you get them really fast hey, in opposing force. Hey, buddy. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like. All that. right, we get to watch it transform. City Seventeen as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget. I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, boy. Oh, yes. Gonna need it. Man's best friend, Crowbar. But yeah, that. Those are not birds. Those are scanners pouring out of the Citadel. Barney works with the scientist, and Shoulder Man works for himself. The yeah, opposing force is really cool. Blue Shift was okay. I would say if you call Half-Life, oh, we got some some techno tunes. I would say if you call Half-Life one a ten, which how can you not? Um, I would say Opposing Force is like a nine, and Blue Shift is like uh, a seven. It's all right, but it's like if you enjoyed Half-Life, I would say you have to play Opposing Force. Um, Blue Shift, I wouldn't say you have to, but if you really want more Half-Life. Then yeah, it's it's more Half Life. It's not bad. I wasn't sure if the trains were in the game or outside my house. Honestly, um, we do get some trains that are in about this distance. Not that distance. But that is not how a train at this distance sounds. That is a very quiet train. I wish trains were that quiet. Music in this game is actually really good. It's a shame you almost never hear it. You hear it in combat only, for the most part. Anyway, ow. Oh, hey, health. Random health kit just on the floor. That's nice. Okay, run. Run, Gordon, run. All right, we have the flashlight now. <laughs> the flashlight that is tied to your running ability. And I believe your oxygen as well. They're all the same thing now. Get screwed! Up, oh, up. Oh. They'll be looking for you now. Oh! You better run. The stun baton counts as a uh, thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, no hurting NPCs in this. There's actually kind of a, a fair amount of tonal dissonance between Half Life One and, which is pretty silly and like ultra violent in some ways. It really has that Quake DNA in it. Um, there's the gibbing, there's the, you know, wacky way scientists die in it. And in this you can't kill the NPCs, and there's a lot less gratuitous death. Uh, there's still stuff like Ravenholm, and there's some really screwed up burned body models we'll be seeing later on. But, uh, it's still, it must still be rated M, right? Yeah, it has to be. But, um... I feel like they toned it down to keep it more realistic, and that kind of makes the violence that you do see more impactful. It's Half-Life 1, great game, but it's it feels pretty wacky at times. And I mean, especially if, speaking of wacky, like the whole, the way they implemented the scientists were just completely ridiculous and silly. Like they make, they make these weird like beps when they like die and stuff. They go like, ah! <laughs> Lambda Locator 2. Is there a way to turn those, like, partial achievement, well, notifications off? I'm actually not used to games actually bothering with those. Oh, here's funny, here's something amazing. 
If you hit an explosive thing with a crowbar, it, it will explode. Completely just real. Real. I'm gonna die. There you go. <laughs> I should probably... Oh. City 17 has a lot of explosive barrels. This one of those games where melee weapon is your best choice. Oh, absolutely not. Um, it's relevant for the whole game, which is nice. But, um... Nah. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Yes! Hit it. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not good. <laughs> I fell in the exact spot on the train where I would slip through. I'm a terrorist. I'm gonna stop this train. Hold on. Yep. Also, City 17 got these recyclable, like, wheelie recycle bins, like, years before my city did. Like, what, what Eastern European country has these amazing, well, not amazing, but, like, modern recycled wheelie bins? No, no, Gordon, please. Oh. So these things are completely harmless, uh, other than being able to slightly blind you, but they, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, God. No, change weapon. They, um, they can drop batteries sometimes. Ow! Uh oh, those are those barrels. I thought that was like grenades hitting me or something. All right. Suspiciously bent fence. This game does a good job of telegraphing where to go. Sometimes less subtly than others. Also, the combine chatter is really cool. The, uh, they have very realistic crap they'll, uh, blurt out. And their AI is pretty good. They'll do some squad-based stuff. Actually, the original Half-Life, um, had really good squad AI for the, uh, the human marines. Ow, leg. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, okay. No, 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 no. This gunfire is really fast. I think it's just as fast as it can click. Oh god. Yeah, it definitely is as fast as it can click. Which makes it feel really good. And that's a combine train, by the way. We barely got to see it, but yeah, that was a razor train. I honestly forgot most of the music in this game. Because you, like I said, you, you really only hear it mid-combat. And you're also hearing all kinds of, like, explosions and stuff during combat. Oh. Oh, screw off. I do want these, though. <laughs> Why is this here? Why was that there? Whatever. Level design. Uh, into the water! Man, the water in this game looks amazing. Wasn't this good when it came out? Did it have full world reflections, or is that something that came out as they updated the Source um, engine? Because I know there's been some updates of the Source engine that ha the old Half-Life games benefited from, and some that they didn't. Uh, you can't clip without a title. Before we got powering the TV, that's adorable. To come through here by this is the free man. The combine's reckoning has come. You look different. Look, we're just a lookout for the underground railroad. He looks slimier well, than he right used to. The They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, they changed the vortigaunts. Give you a jolt to get you going. One suit energy. Thanks. Can't afford to get Thanks. Civil protection can't Just, that's... Out here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. I'm taking the TV, asshole. The same. The same. I love Vortigaunts, though. You know what? You, you talk funny, so I'm, I'm giving you your TV back. You've earned it. Here you go. Up. There. I love... The way Vortigaunts talk is awesome. Talk more. Now talk more. Oh, whatever. I'll find the wise Vortigaunt later on. I remember where he is. He has all the Vortigaunt lines. 
Oh, wait, I'll give you two TVs. That's how much I like you. Oh. Well, bye. Jerks. Even in modern games, fire doesn't really look too amazing in games. The Breath of the Wilds looks actually pretty good for what is, I believe, just a, a single sprite, like a 2D sprite. Oh, they did a thing to change the gun models and blue. Oh yeah, there was the HD. Blue Shift came with a HD pack of models. Um, and yeah, I don't really, I'm not really a huge fan of the, oh yeah. <laughs> Cute little teaching moment here. Bird gets nommed by the barnacles. So like, the barnacles in Half-Life 1 are like seven polygons, and like the, the barnacles in this game have more polygons than like every enemy in Half-Life 1 combined or something. Like, I, that's not an actual fact, but it's, the, the difference between the two games is pretty damn amazing. And it's only a few years, isn't it like only five, six years between the two of them? Well, I guess that is like a graphics generation, so to speak. Rip. Oh god. Oh, and I love the beep. The EKG beep when those CPs die is a really cool touch. It gives them a lot of personality. And the HD models are weird because they, um, they changed the, the uh, MP5 into an assault rifle for some reason. I don't know if they actually changed it. We heard 12 go down and out. Uh, surgical strike units are targeting railway stations. Repeat, civil protection is coming down on underground stations. We're already getting refugees from 9 and outlying. Looks like we're... Rip. Station 8, do you copy? Station 8, are you there? We have also... confirmed reports of man hacks. Repeat, they're filling the underground with man hacks. Ah, good. Ladders are also much less dangerous in this game, and in, in, in Half-Life, ooh. In the original Half-Life, uh, ladders were just about as deadly as the monsters. Get out of here. Oh, I can't get those. Get out of here. Now get out of here. I'm sorry, how loud is this relative to my voice, by the way? Is the... This game is kind of loud. It's got a pretty high dynamic range, I guess, is really the issue. Which is good as a game, but not good as a stream thing. But like, can you hear me when I'm firing this stupid thing? I mean, it's a good gun sound, it's just a bit loud. Oh god! Oh, I forgot about that! No! Gordon, run! All right, the creepy combine voice lady. Game game is louder than voice at times. Can I? Let me turn down game volume and keep the music volume. I guess. Spoken. Close. Let's take that down to subtitles. That should be a bit better. I don't really have the loud gun to test it with. Oh yeah, and the barnacles are fun to mess with now with the, uh, with physics objects. Uh oh. Wait, is it really a one-hit kill? I like this, like, creepy filled skull model. Like, there, there is brain in there. Here, let me feed this guy. There you go. There you go, my friend. Enjoy. Just kidding. Just kidding, you're dead. Now I've got two skull friends! Hooray! Hi, buddy. Oh god, oh god. Um. Oh, he didn't. That one wasn't after me. Here. Keep going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here. I'm not sure that's actually what the underside of a skull looks like. But, uh, whatever. Do you do you like your skull friend? Here, let me get you a second skull friend. Did I already use Skull Friend? I'll give you Spine Friend! Here you go. Do you like Spine Friend? 
There's spine front. There you go. Good girl. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's also impossible to overstate how much better this flashlight is than the Half-Life 1 flashlight. The Half-Life 1 flashlight's hilariously bad. It has no, like, peripheral... Oops. Wait, what? Where did those bullets come from? Where, where did those bullets come from? Oh, whatever. Okay, this water still looks really good. I mean, let's get, like, the surface looks good. Uh-oh. Are you kidding? Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Why is it still on fire? It's underwater! Oh, God. But yeah, I like that the enemies, like... It's scripted stuff, but like, it shows that they know how to use physical objects and stuff, too. It makes the combine feel really smart. Uh-oh. Just got skiddly bebop. Up. Oh. And die. I think there's some conveniently placed explosives you could use on those gu- Speaking of conveniently- <laughs> Speaking of convenient explosives. C-17 must have been like a, a manufacturer for the explosive barrels. I forgot I have quick saves. Look how freaking huge that quick save text is. I think it must be scaled with the uh, thing. There we go. Oh shit, where, where do I go? Oh, oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Well, I forgot you can zoom in with any weapon. Uh oh. No. Do those usually just take one hit? Well, here's a fun trick. Oh. Oh, crap. Never mind. I might have to kill it anyway. The fun trick is to set a barrel on fire and feed it to a... Oh! Barnacle! Which is what I should have done here. Why is this slippery? What even is this? Glitches for this game must be great. Oh, there's speed runs of this game that are freaking amazing. I highly recommend seeing. There's this like relay, like or this segmented run that a bunch of different speedrunners did, and it's it's beautiful. Ow! Yeah, worth it. Dead barnacles. Alright, we've got some suit power. Oh, they were expecting you to get hurt, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. What the? What was that particle effect? Anyway, there's, there's still some gore. There's some there's some dead people. Some slightly burnt. So a little bit crispy. A little bit crispy. Are there any of these barnacles left alive? Oh, I can't pick them up anyway. It's fine. Up. Oh. Not gonna fall for that again. Why does the barrel not get extinguished? That's cheap. In re in retrospect, that is really cheap. Maybe it's maybe it's a grease fire. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, over the Oh! No? Wait. What do I do? Oh, do I go to a different thing? Oh here we go, here we go. Ladders. Ladders are always your savior. Ladders are always there for a reason. So I think this pistol actually works underwater. It's the only weapon that does. Oh, crap. Uh, I see, I see. I also like how this kind of has like, a bit of that survival horror aspect where like, you're not really supposed to kill every enemy. Oh, crap. I, I would probably get hurt even more if I were to sit around and try to kill all these guys. Please. Wait, did I tweet? Did, did the auto tweet work? Let me double check that. It did not auto tweet. Great, 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 great. Uh, hold on just a second. I don't know why I expect things to work. They never work.
I don't I don't know why I even try to automate some of this stuff because the, the Twitch auto tweet stuff never never works. Alright. Sorry about that. Um wet noise and then loading. I could swear these used to have corners, or like, you know, actual cinder block corners. That's kind of funny. I guess they had to save, they had to save those like, six polygons. Oh, right, 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 right. Physics puzzle time. I think I got slightly stuck here, like not for long. I was like, what, what, what do I do? Also, a funny thing about me getting Half-Life, so I got, um, I got the Collector's Edition when I got this. I actually still have the shirt. I forget what else it came with. It came with, it was like a Flash, it was like a Flash game side-scroller version of Half-Life 2, which is free on Steam now, by the way. It's super hard to find. I forget what the heck it's called, but there's this 2D platformer, um, thing where you play, um, I'm not here. Bye now. Thanks. Um, and it's free on Steam, but it's so hard to... It's... Oh god. Oh god, it sees me. Yeah, the Hunter Chopper is like the worst thing in the world for a little while here. Oh god, we'll have our revenge though. Eventually. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, but the funny thing is, I didn't actually, I had never actually played Half-Life 1. And I, I do not actually remember why I was so excited for Half-Life 2. It proved to be entirely justified, and I loved this game when it came out. I mean, I still love this game. Oh, here's some classic burned body stuff. Hi, friend. Look at those fingers. Look at those little charcoal fingers. Get out of my face. Um... All right. Oh. Oh. When was my last autosave? Like one minute ago. All right. Oh, all the way back here. Now oh, whatever. Oh, wait, health. Okay, 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 okay. Gordon, please. Okay. Squeeze through there. No, no, Gordon, door, oh god, Gordon, why? Alright, but yeah, I, I don't remember how I even heard of Half-Life, because I didn't have that many, I think I might have heard it from a gaming magazine, I did, for a brief period, I did read the gaming magazines, as a kid I used to read Nintendo Power, and I actually never got too many Sega, I had a Genesis, but I never got too many Sega games, because... I just didn't uh, know about them because they only had Nintendo Power, which obviously only covered Nintendo stuff. Nice little bloated floating carcass here with some exposed cartilage. That's nice. And I can't even use this health, so there's no reason to come here. Let me take this though. Oh, these are the like, smaller health containers. I forgot these even existed. I mean, 64 emulation has improved. Huh. Yeah, I never really... I played a couple, like, I tried playing a couple games, uh, with N64 emulation. Uh oh Rip. Uh... Yeah, it never seemed that great. Project 64 in, in particular sucked. Uh, is there a better thing than Project 64? Is there something else I should try? I don't really... Uh oh urgently have a mighty need to uh, play any N64 games, but it would be nice to have a good emulator for when I do. Oh god! How did you know? He was waiting for me! And yeah, the blood, the blood effects are much more realistic and much more toned down than Half-Life 1. I think they look... They're kind of more intimidating because it's like... Oh god. Um... Because it's kind of, um, 
In Half-Life 1, the, the blood effects are like really cartoony. And there's like huge blood explosions from like everything. But it's a lot, it's a lot more toned down. It feels like it hurts more. Oh, you had a lot of freaking bullets, didn't you? Oh, screw you! Take those bullets. PJ64 actually improved greatly. Now detects game pads now. Oh, that's cool. I hate when, like, I always have to set up game pads and emulators. I mean, emulators aren't exactly, like, the most user friendly things in general. Though, actually, uh, Dolphin and PPSSPP are really good user friendly wise. They're probably the best open source projects I've seen other than uh, OBS, which is what I'm using to stream. Those PPSs PP is that open source? I don't actually know. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Master doesn't stand a chance. About that. They're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with man hacks. What's a man hack? Sweep through here. Shit! Too late. So if you act fast, you can save this guy. I'm probably not gonna. Oh! Yeah, get it! Never mind, he's fine. That was a close call. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Yeah, these are man hacks. I love the rusty blades. I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, and you really gotta go. So like the scary thing about the man hacks is that not that they'll kill you, but the freaking nasty rusty blades, you'll you'll get open wounds all over the place. It's worse than just straight up killing you. And that's a very combine thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Man hacks are also hilariously fun to just bat away with the crowbar. Not attempt in real life. I think they also have a low chance of dropping batteries or something. Uh-oh. They're also basically weapons for you, oh god. Once you get uh, the gravity gun, which will take a while. Well, speaking of config file bullcrap, so when you start up Half-Life, it has this like animated scene, which is like really neat on the menu, but it takes so long to load, especially on old PCs or like, you know, contemporary PCs of the game. Uh, so you could like go in and I forget exactly what you do now, but like you, you replace it with a static image or something, and then you could just really start the game really quick. I think that's like one of the first things I did regarding like modifying games. If you can even count it as that. There must be a smeakret down here, right? Oh, wait, no, th that's just the right way to go. So the smeakret was this way. Oh god, no, no, get the gun! Oh! We got the, uh, got the SMG. Hold on, no, I want to go for the secrets. This game also does a good job of rewarding things, rewarding exploration without really, like, in the whole pre-achievement thing. Like, here's your first zombie! Beautiful. And here's your first grenade in reward for beating your first zombie. There's little off-beaten path things. This game's really good at hiding just little tiny bit bits and bits in places. Hold on, hold on. I don't have my hand on my thing. How dare you spawn? I figured I was safe. I didn't have my hand on my mouse. Alright. You know what's funny? When I first, um... Wait, speaking of tweet auto-tweeting... Did that... Did the thing say that I was streaming in the thing? It did not. Let me let me send a message in Discourse. Or not Discourse. Dis, dis, Discord. Whatever the hell. Ugh, none of this automatic stuff ever works for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Where's chat? There's chat. Okay.
Oh, right, Project 64 is the one that put in adware or something, right? Yeah, isn't it like... I thought it was fairly easy to disable. Like, is it one of those things where you just have to, like, uncheck a box when you install something? I still hate those, but, uh... I think it was something moderately benign. Well, not benign, but non... Not as bad as it sounds. Excuse me. Oh! Who? Oh! I love how everyone, like, every CP is standing next to an explosive barrel for this segment. Look at those seams in the water. Those were probably barely noticeable on, like, the CRTs at the time, but... This game still looks pretty damn good. Like, you can tell the, the polygons are low-ish. But, uh, everything else, even though the, the texture quality or the texture resolution is a little bit low too, everything still looks pretty damn good. The art direction is really great. Do I... Uh, what do I do here again? Obviously I gotta get on this thing, right? Maybe. Oh, no, no, you just go through here. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm gonna start drowning soon. Yeah. And you don't get your drowning health back like you do in the Half-Life 1. Scanners actually alert the other enemies to your position or not. But I mean, the enemies are usually in places where they're just gonna find you anyway. Oh god. No. No, 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 no. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> he hides from the man hack! I didn't know they did that. Did you see him? He ducks. Oh god. He ducked when the man hack was close. That's cute. Steam? Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Getting boiled alive while getting eaten by a freaking barnacle. It's great. There you go. Some pelts. Some human heads. Uh-oh. Oh, get, get you a nice steam-boiled human head. Delicious. Ow! I'm sure that wasn't load bearing. Hi, friend. Anything over here? Apparently not. Oh, excuse me. Uh, where did I? Oh. Oh god. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, it's not on fire. Okay. That's fine. I didn't even get to explode one in the bear in the cart. Uh... Rip. All right. Up. Oh, physics, please. I've gotten caught on some geometry in a couple spots. That feels a little bit weird, but... Ugh. Oh, no, not more, not more. Would you die? Oh, there's two of you. There we go. Oh, God. Why are you here? No, 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 I was reloading! That's unfair. 
Oh god. You don't attack people while they're reloading. I just the right. This was also the first game I ever played with ragdoll physics, so this was a source of much mirth. Hey James. Yeah, it has been a while. Though I started the stream like an hour ago. I guess none of my auto tweet stuff worked, which is one of the reasons I don't really like streaming as much as I could. It's just all the crap that doesn't work. I ran, so my flashlight is low. You know, science. It happens. Like, it actually is explained- oh my god. It's full of explosives. Um, it actually is explained that yes, this, this, the suit does actually use energy to augment your running speed. So there is kind of a reason that running depletes your flashlight, but it's still stupid. Frickin' no. Oh, why are there more? Where did you come from? I came from there. I don't think in real life I would just bat them away gently with the crowbar like that, but, uh... Um... What's the deal here? Oh. Wait. Well. That was a sane thing to do. That was safe. Safe and reasonable. Um, that did not actually open a path in any way, though. Um, do I go up here? Oh, I do. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. I don't think I can. I see the ammo thing or the. Get the, up there again. Oh, right. Hey, unplugged. Ah, screw it. I don't need that shield thing. I think I could get up there if I brought like a barrel or something, but whatever. This is one of those quiet bits where you get to solve some more physics puzzles for a while. I remember getting stuck there in my first playthrough too, like not like permanently stuck, but I remember that awkward, just sliding awkwardly thing. Um. If you get like, I guess the email alerts would probably be the best way to get notifications because like the auto, I try auto tweet stuff and I have Muxibot which is supposed to send a message in Discord whenever I do a stream. Uh, it, it very often does not actually do that though. Valve loves valves. I think something opens now. Or does that just flood the room? I don't actually remember the exact solutions here. No, this is still closed. Let's go back to the other room. Oh, it's flooded now. Oh god, more of you. Uh, but what did that do? Do I go back even further? I think I do. 
think that is the thing. Oh, right, it's a classic release the barrels from the underwater thing segment. This game loves these. In fact, there's even something like this in Half-Life 1, if I remember correctly. We release some standable stuff from underwater. Though obviously it was all scripted in Half-Life 1. Half-Life 1 really tries to make you think there's more phys physics than there are. It has some neat interactions, but they're all completely scripted. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, you do get some of your health back. Oh, you... Oh, you do get your, your, your stuff back. Okay. Up. Oh, there we go. Also, this game makes it a lot more clear which boxes, which barrels you need to break. Or, yeah, boxes. Because in Half-Life 1, you can break almost any box and it might have something in it. But in this, there's really only the lambda-marked ones. Oops. I love that you can open the cardboard boxes. Oh god. Oh god. Are there man hacks? I can't see! The one time a, a, a scanner almost hurt me. Get, get out. Get, get, get. Go on, get! Oh, you, you smartass. I love the computer noises they make. Oh. Did you see him whimpering like a baby? I think it's because of the man hacks, but where is it? I hear you. Where is it? Oh god. Where is it? It's stuck. Even it doesn't know where it is. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh, hello. Jerks. Where? That one is still stuck. Oh, whatever. Let's use the SMG for a bit. Oh, I have max ammo for SMG. I should have been using this earlier. But... Is that? Nah. What? So, apparently barnacles have pretty high health, they just instantly die from a crowbar hit. That this thing's a lot weaker than I remember. I do remember it being fairly weak, but not quite that weak. Oh, is there a smeekrit? Where's the smeekrit? That lambda usually means, yep, smeekrit. It looks interesting. You've never heard of Half-Life 2? Yeah, it's, there's there's some physics. I mean, you can't have a game called Half-Life without some physics, right? Oops. Uh, yeah, this is one of the best games of all time, basically. Not really hyperbolic either. Um, <laughs> that man hack is still stuck. Um, that's strange, so... No way to go in here. Doot. Uh, where? Oh, 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 oh! Wait. Ow. Detected. That was like, that was like, okay, 10 feet, but still, that would not be a major fracture, come on. Ooh, radioactive crap, my favorite. This is considered one of the best games of all time. Absolutely, yes. It's also very cheap, at least on Steam sales. I'm not sure, if, oh god. I touched the radioactive piss water. Gross. Suit fortunately has a built in Geiger counter. <laughs> Calm down, oh, hey. they're just head craps. You're Freeman, aren't you? That is a big ass radio. Coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to station 
Yeah, if you never played Half-Life, I would... I would start with Half-Life 1, I guess, but uh, Half-Life 2 is absolutely fantastic. I mean, some people even prefer the original. I would say I prefer Half-Life 2 more than 1, but uh, I think the mod scene for Half-Life 1 is the better one. Uh, the, the final boss of 1 is definitely a weak point. Like, Half-Life 1 kind of goes off the rails uh, around Zen. I don't think Zen is as bad as some people say, but Neolith, the final boss, is, is extremely bad. The final boss in this game is not really a strong point, if it can even be called the final boss. It's more of a final encounter. But uh, the final section is still really good, and it beats the crap out of Zen. There's some really good body horror with the uh, the good old head crabs. There he goes. Get off him. All right. Oh. Oh yeah, these are head crab shells. This is more of the combine's dirty work. This is why there are head crabs everywhere. If they don't have a need for an area, they just shell it with head crab shells. They let the head crabs and the resultant zombies do their thing. Oh, right, I can't get through that. All right. This is where they teach you that zombies like physics objects. I know everybody's hired to zombies, but Half-Life zombies are pretty cool. In some ways, the original zombies in Half-Life were even scarier than the uh, Half-Life 2 ones. The Half-Life 2 ones obviously have much better graphics, but... You can kind of see in Half-Life 1 ones, um, you can see the skull pressed up against the Half-Life, or the, the, the head crab's head. Or like, it's skin. Like, you can see skull. It's screwed up. I've got Max stuck on him. I thought this guy was alive for a second. He just looked like he was chilling out. He's like, yeah. He's like, mm, yeah. He's just, he's just he's fine. He's he's just chilling. He's just he's just having a nap. He's just having a dirt nap. Uh, door open. There you go. There you go. Open more. Oh yeah, Black Mesa, I would say, is more fun to play than Half-Life, but it is missing uh, Zen. And therefore, most story connections to Half-Life 2. It's not really a replacement. I would play it. <laughs> I forgot, this thing's electrified, so they just die if they jump at it. Um. Oh god, hello. Your friend. Have fun. Whee! Um. Oh. Probably get moving. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I would say check out. Um, hey, Doctor Freeman. I've been hoping you. I would say check out Half Life I One first, then Half Life Two and the episodes. And then check out Black Mesa. You'll have more appreciation for Black Mesa after playing Half Life anyway. Also, also there's a grim Easter egg, I guess, um, that I'll try to show here. All right, can't pick those up. So we're just gonna leave here. And, whoa. This thing is zippier than I remember. The crazy thing is, I think... That... No, she's still fine. Uh, the crazy thing is, I think it's still faster in the speedrun. There's this trick where you go, like, insanely fast, and so... Uh, speedrunners... I don't think actually use this thing. Like, they just, like, 
zip across the ground. Let me see if I go back now. This game has lots of vehicle sections. I don't actually mind them. Some people don't like them as much as the other sections, but... Why are you not dead yet? Hmm. I don't know actually when it triggers, but I've been told that if you come back after this, um, after leaving here for a bit, um, you actually find the first fast head crab in the game, and it killed her. Oh yeah, Gmod! Gary's mod is entirely based off this, because like, the Source engine was like, crazy groundbreaking at the time, and so like, the facial, like, even just screwing around with the physics and the facial animations was basically its own game at the time, at the point, and that's literally what Gary's mod was, and uh, they've expanded on Gary's mod a lot, it's pretty crazy, but uh, yeah, Gary's mod is based off Source. Specifically Half-Life, but it includes everything now, I think. I actually remember when good old Gary's mod was free. It was also a lot simpler. Yeah, Gary's mod is basically just a tool to dick around with the source engine. Are you dead yet? How how did people even find this Easter egg? She's supposed to get killed by a fast head crab. If you leave, the the wiki just says if you leave and come back. I don't know what the exact thing is. And the Gary's mod people actually made. Um, that's the same company that's behind uh, Rust. They actually released a big pack of all of their random um, experimental crap too. Hang on. Wait, maybe if I go back once I'm in Water Hazard. Can I go back? I probably can't go back. Oh, I can go back, maybe. All right, let's see. Surely you can't be expected to go much farther, right? I'm sorry I'm wasting time like this, but I had, I had just heard of this easter egg and I would never found it myself. I really want to see it, because this is technically the first time you can ever see a fast head crab in the game. By quite a bit, in fact. I think it's several chapters before we get to Ravenholm. Yep! Ripping pieces! Hello, friend. <laughs> it... <laughs> He just didn't even care, he just like... Oh. But yeah, that's a different head crab. That's interesting, isn't it? Spooky. I don't know why the like, sucky mouth hole is so shiny. But, uh... Also, this crap we're driving in is like, radioactive sludge, so that's why we have... That's why you have to use an airboat. Alright, isn't there a speed up button or is that the car? I think that's the car. Yeah, it's the car. This thing goes pretty fast though. Is that a live head crab? I think some people got motion sickness from this thing. I don't... I'm not really susceptible to motion sickness at all. I don't even get VR sickness really. But uh... I wonder, is there a cursor? I guess there's a teeny cursor. I've heard cursors, like, aiming cursors help with motion sickness somehow, because you have somewhere to, like, ground your vision. Oh, there's G-Man! Hey, G-Mans. How you doing, my friend? Let's go take a... Let's go take a trip and say hi to G-Man. If I can operate my frickin' boat. Get out of the boat, Gordon. Go say hi to G-Man. He's obviously in this in this barn. What's up, G-Man? Oh. Oh, there's just zombies. Maybe G-Man is actually just two zombies in a trench coat. Station 12, come in. Station 12, 
Rest in peace, Station 12. You were a hero. Yep, Station 12 is a little far gone, sorry. Why is that one body so rotten, though? Sparse mattress. That's some of that there environmental storytelling that they, they tell me about. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Can't go on that thing. Ugh, my eye is bothering me. I think there's some sneak rates if we cross this. Exploring every stupid little area is usually to your benefit. At least, ow. Or at least it'll give you, you know, some health and uh, healy bits. Oh. Psst. Also, don't see me, Hunter Chopper. See, we saw G-Man at least once, so that's good. Uh, I forget. And that's one of the easiest ways to see him. Uh, I forget what other. There's one other one that I'm sure I won't miss. But that one comes in a while. None of them are really super interesting, other than there's a, there's a couple times in Black Ma or in Half Life One where he meets with other people that kind of implies what he's doing, and there's one time he happens to be talking with someone else in this game, which that one's pretty hard to miss. Oh yeah, supplies. Is that all? I guess I'm mostly full on ammo. Get get out of the boat, Gordon. I think you have to come to a stop first. Yeah, there's three different kinds of head crabs. We don't see the other two for a while. Well, we saw the one fast head crab. But that's the first one we'll see. Well, we see actually one other. But it's being deep fried by the wise Vortigon. Look, I'm busy. I'm, I'm, I'm busy, guys. I don't have time to take a selfie, okay? No, please. I'm swimming. You, it's unsafe to blind people while they're swimming. I don't think it's safe to blind people while they're doing anything, honestly. Just, just get out. Also, destroying electrical things that are hovering above me in water seems a little unsafe, but it's fine. This is another one of them physics puzzles. There we go. Now we have a ramp. Get out, get, get. There you go. Oh, this game is extremely physic. There's so many physics in this game. I mean, even the story is about physics. Well, in the in, in the broader sense, I guess Half-Life One story was more about the physics. This one is more about the consequences of said physics. They're not accurate physics. But they're physics. Explore it. Oh, tree. Also, there's some impl implications that the combine are kind of uh, harvesting all of Earth's resources. Uh, we'll see some more of that later. Yeah, that's... I guess that might be why there's all these chopped down trees and stuff. And why everything seems generally wasteland. There's some nice brutalist architecture in the distance there, by the way. Alright, that's fun. I think there's some supplies in that. Oops. I couldn't decide which way to go, so I just crashed. There were not supplies there, never mind. It's just a fun little thing where you can break stuff. Speaking of... RIP! I see, this is one of my favorite shooter games of all time as well. Luxury communist space photography. Imagine if the government did have drone selfies. That that, that would be the sort of thing I would expect from the Combine, right? You know, 
when they're not burning bodies or, you know, having... <laughs> I like how that guy fires through the water for no reason other than it looks cool. Like, there was no reason for him to do that, but it looks super neat, so... Just do it. It still freaking blows my mind. Did, did they update Source to do these full world reflections? Or, uh... <laughs> was this in the base game? I'm sure my, my rig couldn't run it at the time, but... Like, these are still really good. I mean, it's just the surface of the water. The underwater doesn't look so hot, but... Here's some good combine technology. Everything seems to be in order here. We now have direct confirmation of a disruptor in our midst. Oh. One who has acquired an almost messianic reputation in the minds of certain citizens. His figure is synonymous with... Screw you. Shut up. Oh, 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 they see me. Probably heard all of the gunfire. I'm watching TV, asshole. I love his creepy green casts. Oh, that look that looks lovely. He's just he's fine. He he he's just you know here to see the dentist. You get a lot of ammo in this game. I guess I don't really have too many guns yet, so I have so many guns, I have spare guns. I can hit them with my guns. There's also full ammunition. Oh, right. Oh, grenades! I forgot I had grenades. Grenades are fun in this game. You can kind of roll them. Wait. Oops. I could have swore they rolled. They didn't just... Hang on now. Aren't they supposed to roll? Oh, it's if you're, if you're crouching they roll. Okay. Can I, can I slip one in there? Oh, okay, that's not safe. What is that? I hear you, man hacks. Wait, do you cook grenades in this? I don't think you do. Oh, you can break those. Oh. That's what those are. There you go. Now, can I throw one through the eye hole here? The peephole? Nah, I don't think I can. Okay, maybe trying to close the door was unnecessary. Okay, where's the man hack? Here you go, friend. He's fine. Excuse me. Wait, are you still alive? Oh, that's how you avoided dying. I forgot there's the little man hack, like control devices. In Half-Life 2 Raising the Bar, which is one of my favorite, like, game design related book things, it's just a bunch of lore and leftover stuff and concept art from Half-Life 1 and 2. And, uh, they're originally gonna have these man-hack arcades where they, um, uh, people were gonna play, like, this arcade game, and the arcade game was actually them controlling real man-hacks. 
don't think this is. Are you gonna mess with the turret if you hold something that obscures the view of the turret? Really? I remember doing something like that. It's been a long time, but I played these games very thoroughly. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I can't see you, you can't see me. Yeah, this does seem familiar. Hi, friend. Oh, pfft. he sees me, but only... Oh, he's got an itch. He's got a scratch and itch. You know, when it's just all the way back there. Here, let me... There you go. Sometimes you gotta let friends, you know, scratch your itch for you. Oh, 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 there's people in here. Boop. Oh, do Metro Cops not say shit? Oh, I think it's the military ones that say shit. <laughs> there's some that just say shit if there's a grenade, and it's great. Half-Life has a proud history of shit, because the the Marines in Half-Life 1 say shit, too. In fact, you can, like, make them, like, you can chain their words together in Half-Life 1. So they can be like, ass, eat, shit. Because their words are just like... Oh, it's broken. Um, but how spin? Exploding things worked. Oh, there's an alarm. I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, you can't aim if you're crouching? Oh, what is that crap? Excuse me. That is dumb. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's trying to aim at itself. That's why it does that. Huh. Oh well. Give me your guns. Valve, please fix. Yeah, where's the hot fix for this? Please hot fix this. Whoa. Is that a person? No. Please hot fix this 13 year old game. I hear you. meant to do it all. You can you can kind of prep your throw, but I don't think you can. Which is interesting because he clearly pulls a pin. He clearly just pulls the pin. I don't know if that's like that's a secondary, like a safety. But fuck. Rip. My grenades back. Oh god. Excuse me. Also with the CPs, you can always kind of tell if they're around, because you can hear their... You can hear the Overwatch lady talking. And they're very, very conspicuous and loud beepy thing that ends their call. You okay? There you go. Wait, can I blow these up? Oops. I think you can blow up an APC with enough firepower. I'm not sure if these count. Oh, I set that thing on fire, so that's nice. Whatever. Alright, back to the boat. I almost forgot we were using the boat. Can you get over there? No. Boat time! That almost hurt. Second person vehicle section. Do you mean the car? I think that's still a few chapters away. Is Muxybot still in my chat in Discord? I don't know why it doesn't tweet sometimes, or send messages. I just need to send it myself. But, uh... It's stupid. This stuff- this should be basic stuff. Win stream post message. Like how how freaking hard is that? But apparently it is much too hard 
for a simple Discord bot. Septipus! I don't think Septipus had this problem. But Septipus is only YouTube gaming streams. Though, to be honest, the YouTube streams might be going back to YouTube gaming. Because I haven't really seen particular benefit from streaming on Twitch. Ow. And the Twitch streams always, they have to have ads. That's just, that's just how it works. So if I go to YouTube, I get some benefits and we get to not have ads. So that's all pretty cool. And I tended to get more views on YouTube, which is not what most people would expect, really. But I guess when you already have the following on YouTube. On-screen chat is super behind. It seems okay for me. I mean, I don't know how long that message has been on there, but it was on the other thing. I like how they have this little nice, you know, physics puzzle package. It's like, they're like shrines. This is how you teach kids. It's, call it like Zelda. It's, it's like a shrine in Zelda. That's how the kids relate to things now. Test. It's a delay of night. Yeah, the on-screen thing is fine. Um, like, I'm watching your thing pop up. Uh, yeah, it pops up instantly on the chat thing. It's just actual stream delay. Like, it's not like chat relay, where it was in posting in chat. That's like part of my, you know, video feed. So it's just gonna actually be behind. All right. Close the door on us. Whoop. Um, what do? Oh, I remember this part. Okay. Bonk. Pfft. We got pretty high. We almost were able to like skadoodle up there. Excuse. Oh. Just shoot locks. That's. If you learned anything from GoldenEye, it's that you just shoot locks. That always works. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, excuse. I was reloading. No. You don't shoot people when they're reloading. Jerk. I don't know why, but when I'm using like powerful weapons like that, I just tend to reload just out of habit, even... If it's even, like, a slightly apparent that enemies are gone. There was no reason to reload like that, but I still did. Ah! Video games teach really bad reload habits, too. Because, like... Like, with most guns, like... You can't just, like, refill, like, one bullet of a magazine. That's not how it works. You'd be throwing away the magazine and you'd have, like, a dozen half-filled mags and it would be... A complete disaster, but it's it's video games, so it's fine. Oh god! You could at least open the boxes for me, jerk. Oh, the python is one of those guns that it's so good I don't want to use it, but especially not on stupid metro cops. But I think we don't really have anything better to use it on for a while, anyway. I won't use it on these losers though. Oh god. What is hitting me? Oh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. No. One thing at a time here. Also, I really love the way the 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 health thing is less useful, but I love the little ammo thing on the cross on the crosshair in Half-Life 2. Why why do no other games do that? Like that bar on the right there, that's my ammo, and that's really neat. Also, what's the zoom in button? I keep pressing it on accident. Oh, it's Z? I guess that makes sense. Whoop. You can't actually fire while zoomed in, but any weapon can zoom in. It's like a function of the suit. Took one minute and 41 seconds for your message to show on screen. I think you might just be behind on the stream, son. That was completely unnecessary. But whatever. Oh, fuck. No. I should really just switch weapons when that happens. But whatever. 
run normal, so it's not too not too difficult. I can put it on hard, but it's been actual years since I played this game. So I figured I'd just go on normal. I don't really Oh. Excuse you. Danger, this wall is flammable material. Oh. Uh, I just kind of wanted to relax and enjoy a fantastic game and not really worry about, you know, being best gamer ever, so I figured I would just play on normal. I have beaten all of these games on hard and all of that crap, though. I even got the, uh, I mentioned this earlier, but I got that stupid, the infamous gnome, ep the infamous gnome uh, achievement in episode 2, I have that. I don't have the one free bullet one from episode 1 though. That one's- that's just stupid. The gnome was actually not as hard as you would think, but I would still never do it again. I actually missed the antlion grubs one. That one is actually worse, I would say, than the gnome. Because with the gnome, you're sure that you still have it, right? But, with the other thing, uh, uh, where am I going? I completely forget where to go. I know there's a turret or something, right? I don't think this was in fact the place to go. But yeah, if you ever, like, Twitch does seem to just wait. Is this where I, that's where I came from. If Twitch is ever super behind, you can generally just- oh god, oh god, that's not shelter at all. Um, just hit F5 and when you reload it should be back to whatever is, you know, as recent as Twitch has. Oh, right, it was over here. Follow the trail of bodies. Ow. Ow. My flesh. Alright. <laughs> Fuck. There's other people? Oh. Oh, right. You. <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Oh, God. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get, get out. Skadoodle. Sk no, no, no. Scram. Get out of here. No. Psst. And the horse you rode in on. Wait, can I? Let me get him. Oh. I don't think it's possible to actually blow it up. We get to blow up one of those later, it's fine. Alright, back on the boat. And pause what's happening in the middle of the crates. Uh, I don't know because I didn't see when your message was, but I think you were fairly... I think it was probably just you, like Twitch being behind. It's been about two hours, so yeah, you can... If you ever get buffering and stuff, Twitch usually, like, carries off- Oh, there's a fresh chopper already. Twitch usually carries you off where you pause, so every time you get buffered or something, um, you're actually getting a little bit of delay. Which... is good and bad, because it keeps- it carries you off where you left off. Um... Frickin' Tony Hawk's pro skater over here. Um, ow. But, uh, yeah. It's just one of those weird streaming things. Live video can only ever really be so good. Like, there's so incredibly many things that can go wrong with live video. Oh, I'm not going the right way, am I? That's nice. Hold on, sir. Just, just let me reorient myself. Don't fire. That's not fair. You can drop roller mines at me. That's actually better. Wait, these aren't roller mines. Those are just normal mines. Yeah, just keep dropping mines. That's fine. That's that is preferable. I'll be get some music again. Uh oh. Oh fuck. That was fun. He was just showing us how to grenade jump, it's fine. He's like one of those animals from Super Metroid. He's teaching us the tricks. 
It honestly kind of surprises me every time a sound, uh, like, a music track comes on in this game. This is so rare. It's like, oh right, this game does have music. I kind of felt that with, way with Breath of the Wild, too. It's like 90% of the music is just... And then you don't hear anything for like three minutes. You get like three piano chords. Is it is it chords with a piano? I guess it would be keys. You know what I mean. Obviously vehicles are not people, so they do not have health. They're infinite. And... <laughs> The vehicles are extremely forgiving in this game, which is a godsend. I'm so glad the vehicles are like this. It's kind of like that thing with um, the AI in um, The Last of Us. Like, the way they made the escorts not annoying was the escorts, like, do not activate, like, like, they're always perfectly stealth, unless you're not. And they're, like, impossible to die. And sometimes you just have to do things that way because... Any other way is just infuriating. This boat is also extremely good on land. Oh, thanks for the joke, Clay. Uh-oh. Boop! Those do not hurt much at all. I guess... I guess the armor... If you have... Well, actually, 30 isn't very much suit. The suit works kind of weird, like how Doom... I think it works like kind of like Doom armor. Or if you have like 100% suit, you take like zero health damage. But if you only have, say, 10 health, ten suit, you do take some health damage as well. I don't know. Like, there's some weird function governing it. Uh-oh. Ow! Okay, now that we have no suit, things are going to start hurting more. Ooh! Whee! Hold on, let me get out, let me get out, let me get out, oh! It's a close one. Okay, okay, don't shoot me. Okay, I specifically requested the opposite of this. Just want some health. They have very good pacing with these little spots we can drop off and- oh god. <laughs> he dropped a mine in here! How dare he! Uh, but there's some good pace where we can get some little rest stops. Oh god! What's this? What's the point of that? I don't think I actually need to bring my boat in here, do I? The animations for these things, they're so basic, but at the time they were so cool. Especially the little rotatey thing in the health thing. Okay. Shoot your load. Ow! Ow! Not into- Ow! Okay, I did not mean- it is a little busted up, actually. I'm not sure if it always is like that, or if it does take some degree of damage. Like, it can't be destroyed, that's for sure. Oh, right, I forgot about this. That's a good set piece. Whee! Plonk. Uh, -oh. uh, I did exactly the wrong thing. Brilliant, okay. It's this piece, you gotta sloop up. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that worked. As is kind of always the case, some of the coolest quote-unquote physics parts of the game are, of course, you know, scripted. Some things you just got a script. Ow. I also love how I can just, like, look behind. Just, you know. No need to look where I'm going. It's not like collision damage does anything to this boat. Speaking of boat, I think we're about done with boat. Right? Or are we? No, the boat section is actually pretty long. I think I got some complaints. I never really minded it, because it, it it feels pretty quick. It is multiple chapters, but the chapters are pretty short. How the hell does that aircraft have all those bombs? It's video games. Obviously they're... Wait. Uh, I think you gotta weigh this down. Obviously, they're collapsible mines, and they, like, take up no space until they expand or whatever. They gotta expand dawn. There we go. Um, wait. Oh, right. Don't we gotta... Oh, no. 
Oh, right, right, right. Gotta get up here. Right? Ah. No? I saw a ladder. Oh. Hello, friends! Have you heard the good word of our Lord Jesus Christ? So how do I... How do I get on that? I know you gotta push that thing down. Oh, there's a ladder. I'm blind, it's fine. All right. I actually kind of miss when, when games were mostly like this, where you just have all of the guns. I always thought the one thing I never was a huge fan of in Halo, like for multiplayer, it makes sense. But for single player, I never really liked the reliance on switching guns. I like just having all my stuff. Because it just always ends up being some guns that you never really pick up. Hey. Oh. Hey, Alex. Oh, you're not Alex. I wouldn't believe it if I couldn't see with my own eyes. Dr. Gordon Freeman himself. Oh, right. We're not leaving this quite yet. Hey, Vortigaunt. <laughs> it's so weird seeing them with a gun. We're just getting ready to pull out. Is that a gun? What is that? hurry. Got to tear down this camp and get out of here. I guess that qualifies for a gun in 2014, or 4. Everyone has these perfectly preserved engines for some reason. What's up, buddy? He's holding it like a banjo. I think that's supposed to be one of those combine guns. It's super low texture, though. That is a strong magnifying glass. Look at this. It's a map. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. That's a cuss cuss. Eli's hideout is here. A stone you don't fucking in swear in this household. In but getting there with that hunter chopper on your ass next to impossible. Good news is the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower. Oh right. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. How did you know he was just finishing up now? Do you have psychic powers? You will address me when spoken to, sir. I have a box. You know what? I want to break your table. Oh, it's indestructible. I'm going to steal this then. Screw you guys. Oh, right. I forgot about that part. Thanks, buddy. There we are. That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I can't hear you over me shooting you. Literally. I love how the Vortigaunt's talk. Right, open the thing. Freedom! Alright, now the boat section gets a little more complicated because you get to shoot things. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that was awkward. Alright. <laughs> I love this little oh shit warning siren. Oh shit, he can fight back now. Is there a sneaker up there? Oh, yes, there is. Hold on. I'm hungry for secrets. Oh. 
Yeah, look at these little copters of doom. The man hacks? They're little portable things that- oh. They're these portable things. You actually see a few combine deploying them. Oops. You guys picked the wrong fight. Alright, I think you have to- oh, 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 I forgot. Poison. Why is there so much radioactive waste here, anyway? Or I do remember the one thing that makes, um... Um... Uh, that gnome part really hard. You actually, in Half-Life... Oh. How do we get up there? So in Half-Life Episode 2, um... To get the gnome achievement, the one hard thing is there's no, like, automatic place where you can carry the, uh, the gnome in the car. So you have to kind of wedge it in as a physics object. Um, and just try to drive with it. That's the one part that was particularly annoying. It's, it's still an annoying achievement in general. But, uh... I'm glad they don't really make many achievements like that these days. Those were kind of the early wild days of Chivos. See, drown people for the drinks when he gets into bar fights. Don't don't get into a bar fight with Freeman. Don't get into any kind of fight with Freeman, honestly. Oh, I missed the thing. Can I break this? I sure can! That's awesome. I didn't really need to. I also like how you get temporary, like, tinnitus from the... if explosions are too near you. It was the first game I ever played that did anything like that. This this game had so many firsts. Uh, especially for me. Like, I'm sure some of these things other games did do. But, uh... It was just... miles beyond anything else at its time. And it's still really damn good. Detour. I see you, zombie. I would like to spread the good word of Jesus Crowbar. Oh god. Hello. You brought friends. How lovely. This thing's accuracy is beautiful. <laughs> Why am I even trying? I'm not sure that was really worth it. Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah, th these are pretty much always worth your while. The little secret caches. I never understood why you couldn't just pick up the corpses. Like, especially, at least the small ones. With, like, the gravity gun. At least. I mean, you can eventually. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I'm stuck. It's really hard to get stuck, so I'm pretty sure I'm not. Grenade? I could have, but I tend to save grenades. Plus, grenades are very physics-y in this game, and if you just throw them in a panic, it can be... It's pretty easy to just hurt yourself. So can barnacles just suck you right out of the airboat? Is that how that works? I'm not sure I've ever actually impacted one. At least not and had it do that. Ow! Fly- uh oh How dare they use physics against me? I'm a physics professor. Theoretically. I mean, I'm, I'm a theoretical physics. Well, not professor, but PhD. Slight difference. I just noticed I have two crosshairs. And it's kind of screwing me up. But one is for the boat, and one is for the gun. I guess that makes sense. But it kind of bugs me out how twitchy the, uh, the aiming one is. Oh, yeah, barnacles are super creepy and gross. They're, they're super cool, though. Why am I doing this? There was no reason to do that. No. No. Um. This isn't good. No. No, you you die now. Bad APC. Bad. Uh-oh. Please die. I would really appreciate it if you would consider dying. Okay. 
But hey, just mashing click works pretty well. Alright, what's the gimmick here? What's the dealio? Um, so there's a ramp there. How do we get into the ramp? Not that way. Um. Do I need to get out and do a thing, or...? I don't know if it's one of those things we have to get out and do. Some sort of physics puzzle. They do love those. How would you get here? Like, obviously this is the ramp. But... Wait. Is there a gap in there? I don't think I can go over that. <laughs> the, the, the fan is like completely destroyed. Also, that isn't. Th that fan seems tiny for what it's actually doing. Also, there's no way this would actually fit through here. But whatever. Let's not think about that. Let's not think about physics. It's not like we're a theoretical physics professor or anything. I mean, theoretically, it would fit. So, there you go. Alright. I'm surprised even with an SSD the loading times aren't instant. They used to be longer, but with Half-Life, with the original Half-Life, they're pretty much instant these days. Though maybe this got installed on my hard drive somehow, not on my SSD. Could be. I think the SSD is my default install folder. Maybe there's more CPU work than I th would think or something. Come back! Uh-oh. Let's not hit that. It's a neat touch how they, they filled the area with explosive barrels to, uh... If his shots hit the explosive barrels, or if you drive too fast. Also, I am dying. Alright, this was a neat thing. When it, when its health is low, it just spams tons of freaking roller mines. Don't ask where they come from. You're not allowed to ask such things. It drops its entire weight. Majestic, the beautiful beast drops its entire weight in mines every three seconds. I'm really surprised I'm alive. I'm really surprised you're alive, too. Uh-oh. Well. There we go. It's been a while since I've had a good health up. Right. Where is the sucker? I'm gonna pulverize him. Oh, there's the health I was supposed to get. Alright, the suit. Supposed to get. Yes, please sit still. Oh no. 
I'll sit still for a little longer. There you go, there you go. Thank you. Alright, let's recharge a bit. Slightly loud. Like I said, the Half Life game is just kind of loud. I think I'll play all of Half Life and probably maybe the episodes at some point. I'm not sure if we'll do it like, you know, marathon style or anything. But I do want to finish up Half Life at least and play the episodes at least on my own. I'm not sure if I'll play the originals too. Oh my god, this is so loud. <laughs> um, but, uh,. Okay. Bonk. Pfft. Rip. I think the wise Vortigaunt is somewhere around here, isn't he? Oh. Please tell me you quick it, it it did auto save, right? Okay, good. I love that scare cord. I don't remember the scare cord being there. Originally. I think there was health all around, but I didn't really. In the heat of battle, I didn't think to pick it up. Wait, I think. I think the wise Vortigaunt is just a little bit past this area, right? I think he's past that gate. So. No, not past that gate, because I think we... Uh, what do we do here? Do we just jump this? I've forgotten exactly what is done. This looks like a ramp, but I don't think I can get up through that, right? Nah. Definitely not. Okay. Here. Yo, pop. Five. Yes. Oh, there's a ladder right there. Get out, Gordon. Should have thought to check the big old red gate. Yeah, there he there he is. He's in that pipe. We'll see the wise Vortigaunt in a second. I'm not sure I still have- Oh no. Stay put. Alright, good. <laughs> you kind of auto-connect to uh, ladders really easily in this game to avoid ladder-related mishaps that happen in Half-Life 1 a lot. Ladders are one of the most deadly things in Half-Life 1. Wait. Yeah, I think it is in here, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, is it? Oh, I should have quick saved. I think there's an auto save. It's, it's fine. Terminus. There is no distance between us. No false veils of time or space may intervene. We see you still in Black Mesa. Clearly we see you in the Nihilus chamber. We bear witness to the bright eternity of the Nihilus demise. You leap, you fall, Oops. you flash between the barriers. For a brief Time you joined us, you are one between the worlds. Communion of the Vortessence and that other, a deeper mystery. No deeper than the void itself. It's got a little bit of a lisp. 
But I guess that's what happens when your mouth moves like that. Forgiveness is not ours to bestow. Unity of purpose, the shattering of common jackals, a single road we tread. The song we sing and shall sing for eternity, no matter the consequences of this struggle. <laughs> the voice of struggle. You have brought us grief and jubilation beyond measure. We are there still in observance of your final stroke. While our only scattered at your feet, you severed the vortical cord that bound the nailings to life and to us. That sharp spur of hope has not dulled to this day. For once the lesser master had been defeated, we knew the greater must also fall in time. With you besides us, a talisman of victory, the day of feeling draws nigh. Your bright face obscures your darker mask. We call you Sib, although your mind and meaning are a mystery to us. Far distant eyes look out to your I love that one. It's either a reference to the player or to the G-Man. lost all dear to us. Yeah, yeah. Something secret steals us both. We shall not name it. We have endured these chafing bonds for eons, yet a single moment of further servitude seems intolerable. How often have we slipped our yoke only to find it choking us? Let this war end in either total victory or our extinction. No further compromise. Alright, this is gonna hurt. He eventually cycles through every Vortigaunt line in the game. But he has some cool stuff there. He talks about the, um, ow. Uh, most of that's related to the Neolith and the fact that Gordon killed a bunch of Vortigaunts in the first game. They didn't have names in the first game, poor guys. But uh, by killing the Neolith, you kind of freed them in a way. They're still enslaved by the uh, Combine. But they're not mind controlled, at least. So that's nice, you know. Upgraded from mind controlled to enslaved. That's always nice. Alright, I think we gotta swoop around here. It's not exactly straight, but hey, it's fine. I think we can get some more health and stuff in here. Excuse me. Oh god. We get some more sh getting shot in the face here. I didn't need any more of that, but that's fine. Oh, hello. Hello, man hack. Hello, you stinky man hack. Go eat a face, ugly. Oh god, hello. Oh, excuse you! Where did you come from? Jerk. Alright, I don't have the shotgun yet. I'll just wait until he opens the door. How did you open the door without your hands? I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna be a wussy. I have I have 11 health. Surprise! Oh, all right, there's the wood. Okay, that's just the equipment I think. Give me more suit. Yes. I'm so excited for health. I just completely knocked over all of these shelves. Oh, do I have full, uh... Yes, I said, do. You only get six. Alright, whoever... If there's anybody outside, they're getting a face full of python. Anybody? No? Well, okay then. What's all this? Nothing. Alright. Oh, there's so many... There's so many, uh... 45 rounds. All healed up. Grenade it? Grenade what? I mean, I have a couple spare grenades, so I'll just grenade everything. There we go. Just, just smashing everything in this game with physics was just completely amazing when it came out. Even just, I would do this so many times, breaking all of the bits 
into smaller bits and seeing how little everything could be just completely amazing. We, we really take for granted physics in games these days, I think. Whatever. All right. something in there or what's this suspicious platform do you do a thing here no that's just where the uh, that is where the uh, the chopper launched from <laughs> and there's a bit of the chopper himself there you go what a good land boat Oop. a little dangerous Okay, I can kind of see how some people got some motion sickness from this thing. Um, um. <laughs> Did you see that? That was amazing! It was upside down and Gordon just like flooped up into space. Uh, what did I just do? Gives a clue about the true identity of G-Man. Does he really? I mean, he gives a hint that, uh, I mean, I don't remember giving anything super specific. He gives some nice, vague stuff, but, uh, like, what exactly does he say? Uh -oh. Is this bad? I just realized that this boat being upside down might actually be a problem. Um, this will fix it. See? Good as new! I love physics. Let's never fight again. Ghost man? I kinda doubt that. It's just government man. Uh, it's just, it's an old term for like spies and stuff. Cause he looks like a G-man. And that, that name is originally from the first game where he's a bit more like, it's conceivable that he is a government agent until the end of the game. At which point it's a little more. Uh -huh. G-Man seems to be like, you know, from some force similar to the Combine or maybe beyond them even. And he just kind of, you know, does work for hire, I guess. And, you know, enlists the services of Gordon. And, uh... Wait, is this Black Mesa East already, or...? But like, it's kind of, it seems that um, whoever hired, it seems that at least two people have employed G-Man to use Gordon, because first there's whoever started the Black Mesa incident. Oh, right. This is, uh, yeah, this is Black Mesa East. Whoever hired him to do the Black Mesa incident seems different from uh, whoever hired him to do the Half-Life 2 thing. You should recognize me! Dr. Freeman? Oh, right, you do recognize me, never mind. Is that you? Sorry, sorry, Judith. Hmm, Judith? Doesn't that sound like something else? Oh, never mind. It's fine. It is so NPC working with Eli and Dr. Glider when they were in the top of their field. Ah, there we go. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're still at the top of their field, considering the rest of the field is like dead. But uh Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. Just gonna break this for you. Do you mind this? Good to know you. You'd better get going. Yeah, you better get fixing all this crap that I'm breaking of yours. Look at him watch. He just watches with tears in the corner of his eyes. This is my life now. This is his life now. Beautiful. Alright. I like how if you notice, in the beginning of Half-Life 1, it's kind of implied that Gordon is a jerk and nobody likes him. Because like, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to prank the other scientists and everyone's just like, Please talk to me after the experiment! And like nobody likes it. 
We're closing in on of course, they all love him in this game. But... Except the combine still has Wait, what's in her hair? Eli thinks their portals oh, it's just a hair clip. Never mind. Similar to our Calabi <laughs> That's to be expected. They hey, Vlad. The dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. Was Gordon a priority at first? <laughs> I think Gordon. Listen to me. I sound like a postdoc. I, I, I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Um, I think for the most part, G-Man just recognized Gordon as whoever would be a vehicle to cause the resonance cascade. But he saw him surviving, and he watched over him. And by the end of the game, he definitely has special interests. He says. I forget if he says it to Gordon. I love the little... You can see the experiments and stuff going on to make this place seem like it's so much bigger than it kind of is. It really does kind of seem like, you know, there's enough stuff to really be called Black Mesa East. Cremator head! Easter egg. My god, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Cryostasis? The last time I saw you, I said Being abducted by an evil entity? It's kind of a sore point, Eli. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long Rude. to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between... Pepe people. Sylvia. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. I hope these aren't important. Freeman, it's gonna be hard. I'm looking forward to working together. Yeah, yeah. Can I use this. Feel free to look around. No. Gman mentions wanting to secure the border world. Yeah, my theory was always that the Combine might have hired G-Man for the first, um, for the first um, Half-Life, though it might not have because I don't think the Combine uses Zen, do they? Or do they? I'm not sure because they talk about using Zen as uh, like a slingshot and they, they use that as like an explanation of why their teleports are better than uh, the Combines. Because the Combine can only teleport between dimensions, not between within a dimension, which is kind of weird. The Vortigaunt but... said you were here. I can't believe hey, he moved so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle. Oh. The possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... All right. All right. Nope. I want in. Oh, invisible walled. The orb. Yeah, that's the cremator head. It's uh. Take a look at this, Gordon. And they were supposed to like clean up the bodies and stuff. It's kind of funny, both Half-Lifes have um, a plausible reason for enemy corpses being cleaned up that were cancelled. Oh, Zen Crystal! I forgot about that. It's kind of dangerous for you to have, isn't it? Well, I guess you're doing teleport stuff anyway, so whatever. It always seemed like some different entity that was opposed to the Combine must have hired Gordon for this. Because it's pretty explicitly an anti-Combine job in this game. Whereas the first one is either neutral or deliberately helping the Combine. The Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here. And who knows what was wanted of him at the start of episode one, because it doesn't work. Hello there. It just climbed down through me, that's not rude. I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. Cat fight. Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity? Oh yes. Let's go have some fun. The zero point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Let's get out of here. I can't read that. Aw, oh, these good old 90s PCs! Beautiful. It's got a lambda power button. What is this? Supply. See you K1. In a while, Gordon. Here, have, have this, Eli. What happened to your leg? Well, probably eaten by something. Never mind. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. 
You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. Well, it's just a head that might not have a tracer in it or anything. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. There's a bunch of PhDs in here, or at least Eli and... I guess, I guess Judith isn't. She talks about postdoc, so I don't think she is. But she's a scientist of some kind. Batman's a scientist. Wait, where was I supposed to go again? Oh, we go through here again? I guess they have multiple airlocks. I guess this is how they keep out the combine. Do they have, like, nerve gas things? No, just kind of an airlock. Oh, so, right, dog is here too. Oh, yes, give me the zero point energy field manipulator. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. I do. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. I guess it's supposed to look like a Zen crystal, the bit in the middle there. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Oh yes, we can paint with with well with paint, which is fun. Boop. Though retrieving the paint is occasionally difficult. Hey Alex, catch. Man, you're really bad at catch. Give me this. They must have had a lot of fun setting up all this physics crap. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. I, I I kind of broke most things, but there we go. I think they give you just enough unbreakable stuff because you can't break the barrels. That you Try can't screw anything up. I I, I I am. Would you? Press the same trigger again to drop it gently. How dare you? I have a PhD. All right. I have the smart brains, the very smartest. Do not patronize me, ma'am. There's a thing in my way, hold on. Ooh, paint. Don't I act like I have, you know, PhD? Oh, we can't paint Alex. Dog, come. Oh, it's dog. Oh, hell no, nah, dog. Up. Let's get a shield scanner for a face. Or a Doggy. regular scanner. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a nice boy. I love Dog. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw! You can see his claw going through the box. Oops, sorry dog. <laughs> He's so happy! Alright, the basketball hoop. Do I have anything that would fit in that? Oh right, the roller mine should. I think probably only the roller mine. Oh wait, I can go for an inverse. Yeah, I think that's worth negative one point. Can I just loop that up there? Oh, come on! Come on! I love how it screams at you. Because it's a roller mine and it wants to murder your face, but it can't. So it just kind of screams. Oh, come on, three pointer. Ah! Oh, no, ball, dog. Whatever you are. 
No, that's fine. Dog can nice dog can pass it back to me so I can shoot. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, for Pete's sake. It, like, it, it doesn't want to go in the hole. Basket, whatever. It's not really a proper basket. Oh, come on. No one on the resistance side fighting against the Combine will attack the G-Man. So clearly not. Well, that's just NPC AI. They probably never changed just to him being human. Probably just a default, like, human NBC with an invincibility switch on. Because no one ever actually has the opportunity to shoot at G-Man. But, 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 I'm trying to basketball here, people! Um, do you want to play basketball with me? Um. Oh, come on, guys. B-ball. B-ball is life, okay? Whatever. I'll- Hey! Don't shoot my ball! Me, sure, not the ball. I'm taking you with me. Alright. Ow. Ow. I'm, you, you're not you're not taking the ball from me. B ball is life. Alex, do you read? Alex, are they... what's going on in there? Where are you, Alex? We're in the scrapyard airlock, stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? I had mentioned the nuke already. The nuke from opposing force is cannon. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. I assume blue shift is cannon too. I guess it doesn't particularly Dad. matter. The only real relevant thing is whether Barney actually saw Zen. Which would explain a lot of why he's such a good, like, military commander in this game. If he actually did all of the crap he did. Next dog. You my dog. Oh, good. Nice facility guy he's got. Oh. You need to get out of here. Until Dog is pissed. Dog, take Gordon to the Ravenholm tunnel, then circle around and try to Oh right, I missed the thing where she says we don't go to Ravenholm anymore. Aw. Or maybe she said it and I was just talking. But yeah, it's time for Ravenholm. Probably one of the more iconic levels in gaming. Sorry, dog. We'll come play later. See you, buddy. I'll keep your ball safe. I like, I like how the ball is is still programmed for murder. It's just incapable of it. It it keeps trying. Hi, buddy. Uh oh. Wait, those are probably our cameras, I guess. It still wants to kill you. It's, it's so cute. <coughs> oh. I wonder why they don't go to Ravenholm anymore. Your face is very low poly, sir. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh! Never mind, no problem at all. Oh! It keeps screaming at me, isn't it? Explosion ends up attacking a combine? I don't think that's true. Uh, because the combine are just brought by the portal storm. I don't see why the nuke would really bring any kind of attention. Like, Earth was already having portal storms because of the uh, resonance cascade. I forget exactly where it's mentioned, but it's mentioned that the, the portal storms weren't localized to Black Mesa entirely. Oh, hello. But yeah, this is good old Ravenholm. Hmm. 
Very good spook town. One, one of top ten spooks in gaming. And probably the best horror area in a non-horror game, I would say. But you can see somebody's been busy here. These saw blades are freaking awesome, by the way. Yes, they do bisect things. Well, only the zombies. I guess it's because they're zombies, but you're allowed to bisect them. Nothing else really does get cut in half. But oh well. Uh-oh. He hello. Excuse me. Whoa. I forgot sometimes the head crab sometimes the head crab survives. Yeah, Ravenholm is very good spooks. Uh-oh. Oh god! Exactly as planned, but oh well. Keep the saw blade. I think the demo for this game was originally called Physics Town. It should be very easy to guess why. Oh, we just heard Father Gregory too. Oh, pardon me. No, give me my saw blade back. Alright, we can turn this off. I think there's an achievement for killing th enough things with physics objects in this area, which is kind of the intent of the area, so it shouldn't be really too hard, I think. Father Grigori is great, he's fucking crazy. But he kills zombies, so he's pretty awesome. Also, awesome touch, the, the saws get stuck in walls. The saws are some of the coolest thing in the game. Splat. These things are also pretty fun. Let's see, uh... The roto saw things. Why does the head crap? Well, I guess the saw doesn't hurt the head crap itself. Ah! Oh, yeah, the head, the the gravity gun does actually affect the head crab. It doesn't affect almost anything else. But it, where's my saw? Give me back my saw, jerk. I think you're supposed to aim it for the head, like that. It still bisects them for some reason, but whatever. Left dog's ball. I think you can't keep it forever. But I can go grab it quick. Oh. Maybe I can't- wait. Yes. No? Maybe. Roller mine, where are you? I think it's gone. Oh well. I love this one. This is, like, most of the traps are pretty reasonable. But this one is like, what the hell, man? I mean, that's not even a trap, that's just like, what? I wonder what that could be. I think Dog's Ball is gone. Rest in peace. That's weird. I would... I figured this would be the sort of game that does not, like, despawn de things. Well, I guess it is... It's an enemy, not an object, so maybe it does get despawned. Oh, right, there's these things, too. I forgot about these. You can light up some spicy zombies with those. But I'd forgotten about that. I would hear Dog's Ball if it was still around. Because it tries to charge you. Portal Storm happened as a result of the bomb going off? Is there official confirmation of that? Because... 
I don't see how a nuke would like... Like the Resonance Cascade continuing makes a degree of sense, but... I don't really see how a nuke... <laughs> There's Grigori! Hey, father! Best top ten priests. Father Grigori every year, all years. Hey, buddy! He seems like a sensible guy. I got a good feeling about this guy. Seems like he's got his head in a good place. Ah, there's the saw. Oh, let's cook a spicy head crab. I swear you could burn them after they were dead. Maybe not. Oh well. Black Mesa Incident caused portal storms. The Black Mesa Incident is not the nuke though. The nuke is just kind of what ended it. The Black Mesa Incident is the Resonance Cascade. It's as far as I'm aware. So touching that does not seem to be in my best interest right now. Oh, that's sparks. Oh, oh. Okay, there's two parts to that. There we go. Good to know. Some nice charred lumpkins up there. Seems very unsafe to me as well, but whatever. I don't. I don't know if the physics objects launch by the. F unless it's like an explosive. I don't know if they can ever actually hurt you. Unless you like aim them straight up and cause them to drop on your head. That'll hurt you, but. Um. How? How do I shot web? Oh. I see. Get, get, get. Come on now. Get. There you go. Gordon. Excuse me. Oh. I'm so glad everyone has these massive air vents the size of human beings. It really makes my job easier. Some great spooky ambience here, too. I mean, how could you not? I don't want table- Ow! The table hurt- Mom, the table hit me back! Stupid table. Where'd my saw go? Accidentally killed that hip crab. Oh, oh, uh, this doesn't seem like a good idea, actually. Woo! That was less of a good idea, but. Oh, here's my saw. It's Gmail Arms Bombs. This is an yeah, explosion. Same day the Black Mace incident occurs. It's actually uh, several. I, well, I'm not sure about several, but. It seems like the Black Mesa. Uh, the, the Resonance Cascade occurred. Uh, some period of time before the actual nuke. Like, I'm not sure if it was actually days, but um, Gordon's incapacitated at least twice. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how long it's supposed to have taken in real time. 
It could still probably be within 24 hours, but I'm not certain. I think it, actually I think day and night cycle at least once in, uh, in Half-Life, doesn't it? Oh, poison head crabs. Those are spicy boys. You don't want to let spicy boys, oh god. You don't want to let spicy boys touch you. So spicy boys have an interesting gameplay mechanic. Uh, I should probably just let one bite me, honestly. If I find one in a, in a decent, in an area where it's the only enemy, I'll just let it bite me. I should have let one of those bite me, honestly. Oh, speaking of... Ow. That, that didn't sound good. One HP! If the spicy boys bite you, your health goes down straight to one instantly, and you, uh... And, uh-oh. Uh A lot of spicy boys here. Um, your suit administers uh, a neurotoxin antidote, but uh, and your health recovers to whatever it was, minus, I think, a little bit. But uh, it means if you're around one of those and some other enemies, you can die extremely quickly. So you pretty much, whenever you hear that scream or their little gurgling, you want to target them right away. It's a pretty cool mechanic. They're not really as scary as they seem, well, they're not as dangerous as they seem, but they're still scary as hell. Well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Thanks, buddy. Behind you. Oh. In Thanks. Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Gimme. Give Gimme- give Oh! I think I broke my fall with the saw. That's kind of how physics work in Half-Life sometimes. There's some ridiculous stuff, like you can stand on like a small piece of paper, and like as long as it's a physics object, and you can pick it up and jump on it, and then you like... What was I supposed to do once I'm here? Oh, I see, I see. Um, yeah, the, the, watch the speedrun for this game is what I'm trying to say. Um, speedruns for Half-Life 1 are great too, but there's lots of physics screwery that is uh, quite cool in the speedrun for this. It's a mix of exactly what you would expect for a game with so much physics and uh, some really unexpected stuff. Like, there's some really cool ways that you just build up speed ridiculously on the ground. If you try to follow Gordon to Zen, you get the time paradox. Oh yeah, I remember that. There's, uh, there's some amusing ending conditions in certain Half-Life games. Um, like, you get scolded for misuse of uh, necessary, like, mission equipment or something if you let certain scientists die that you need to help. Oh, right! I forgot about that trap. It's okay, we'll have another chance here. Hey, zombies, don't I look delicious? Look how delicious I am. Oh, come on, zombie. Hey, hey. There you go. Alright, let's go for a twofer. Boop. Beautiful. Alright then. Father Gregor is really freaking good at making traps. I gotta tell you, how did he get these cars up here in the first place? Alright, I think you gotta ride this up and then into the aisle. Don't try this at home, kids. There we go. Don't try pretty much anything in this game at home. Especially destroying the dark fusion reactor. Uh, I think that, that's all there is. Alright. 
Wait, where did my saw blades go? Oh, my saw blade. Yes. other stuff up here. This tether is ah. Oh. See the tether has collision physics too. So getting around it can be a little annoying. There we go. Now I'm inside the tether. It's never oh pff, come on. Sometimes physics don't physic the way you think they will. Seems like a good guy. Very jovial. Oh, oh, naughty, naughty valve. Look at that. Patch. You gotta patch this. Look at that. I can see the decal over the shadow. Aw. Oh. You gotta patch that valve. Somebody get somebody get Gaben on that right away. Theory is that G Man's one of the same species as the Neolith. Uh, that can't be, because Neolith is uh, the last of its race. That's pretty heavily implied. Um, I mean, Neil literally says, I am the last. Which, I mean, could just mean he's the last boss, but... Half-Life doesn't usually... do the fourth wall break stuff. Hey, hey, buddy. Uh, it is you, brother. I apologize. But, no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concerns. Oh, I want to kill one with a health kit. Maximum irony points, aww. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, 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 oh! oh they make some horrifying sounds when they're on fire, too. Um, so, the, the stuff that the zombies say are actually reversed human... Oh, spicy, spicy boys. <laughs> he got his buddy on fire! Oh! Nope. They take a lot longer to burn than I thought they did. Um, but yeah, the stuff that the zombies... Uh, go to, Just go to YouTube and search, like, Half-Life 2 zombie noises uh, if you don't want to sleep tonight. There's, a. Uh... Ow! Basically, it's implied that the humans are still alive in there, and they're still screaming. So it's not like spooky zombie noise. They're saying stuff like, oh god, please help me, and I'm burning and stuff like that. I think that one that he just did was like, I'm burning, but it's backwards and, you know, zombie noise filters on it. You can hear the, oh god, help me. Like, I think it's reversed, but you can still make out, oh god, help me. Or maybe that one isn't reversed, but the other ones are or something. H how is... How is you not on fire? Oh, whatever. Alright, we've got some Russian text. Or Cyrillic, not Russian. Very odd, well, not odd, but surprising location for a game. First one was set in America. He's so cool. I want Father Grigori to be my dad. <laughs> Laughs in Grigori. This, uh, this, uh, impromptu, uh, hospital didn't go very well, did it? I mean, you surgically removed the thing. I don't think the patient responded positively to it. But, you know. I mean, you tried. Little, I think this surgery was a little extreme, but, you know, the results speak for themselves. You know, meat hooks. 
for hospitals. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with Grigori. He seems like a really nice guy. I mean, honestly, if you were the last living person in a town full of zombies, I mean, I think you're owed a little bit of fun. He teleports you into a room the same alien you've been killing throughout the game. Yeah, but that just means that he has the ability to have portals. Oh, here's where the fun starts. <laughs> Dead. Um, fast zombies! What fun. One of fairly few games to have both fast and slow zombies, I guess. Yeah, G-Man can definitely control things and has some impressive powers, but I don't really think he's whatever the Neolith was. Because he doesn't do the things the Neolith does. Like, well, not all of them, anyway. Like, he doesn't control the Vortigaunts. Uh, the Vortigaunts never really talk about... Oh, hey. I should probably start using that, that Python. Um, yeah, he doesn't enslave the Vortigaunts or anything. He seems hostile to them. Or not really hostile. He, like... Well, not entirely hostile. But, like, in, in Episode 1, he's, like... He's kind of having a giggle when he sees the first uh, Vortigaunt. But once they gang up on him and push him away, he's a little bit pissy. But I think if he was like the Neolith, the, the Vortigaunts would be a lot more on his tail. Ah, oh, I almost got him. Here, brother. Brother, brother. Hey, buddy. Come closer. I'm pretty close. You stirred up hell, <laughs> man after my own heart. <laughs> Here, I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch. You can tell it's not his normal gun. Now, uh, there's his normal gun. My advice to you is he keeps his fancy one for, for himself. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenhorn. Move on, and I will meet you at the church. <laughs> okay, buddy. Be free, my child. <laughs> He's so good. But yeah. You can't have zombies without a shotgun, so he kindly provides one for you. He's just he's just that good of a guy. Uh where do I go? Oh yeah. Jump in the water. Oh Well. Whatever. It was the thought that counted. You just know there's a good zombie showdown coming at this point. Oh, that should have killed you. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, there's that scream everybody loves. Half the problem with the fast zombies is that even if you get a headshot kill, it, it seems like the, the the head crab survives. And the head crabs are pretty annoying. Like, I think a really proper headshot will kill the, the, the thing, but it seems like pretty often it does not actually work. That particular Neolith was the last of its kind it never captured, but some of its predecessors might have been. To me that says it was the last of its kind, so that whether any of the, the other ones were captured like, it's still dead. They're still all dead, because the last one's dead. I think the G-Man is something separate to all of that. Cause... Did you hear all of that physics that was going on? What was that about? I saw a fast head crab, but he's gone now. Whatever. Oh wait, is there a saw in here? No. I think I've lost my saw. There's an achievement you can get here for killing enough things with uh, physics objects, which is apparently harder than I thought. I kind of figured I'd have it by now. But, uh, oh well. I'm not too busted up if I don't get it. It's the fast zombies. The other zombies, it's pretty safe to just dick around and use physics objects, but fast zombies, you kind of want a shotgun for. 
I wonder if he gets squished. No, it's too late. I wanted to get squished. Oh, these boys! They kind of rattle like cobra, or not cobras, rattlesnakes. Um, the, yeah. Um, I just want a physics object to kill you with. There's no need to be belligerent. Oh dang, crowbar's still an instant kill on these things. How did you launch one over there? Oh, let's get him out in the, into the light. The poison headcrab's host is pretty gross. Not that the other ones aren't, but... Oh, ow. You have a lot of range for... Okay, screw this. Yeah, they really screwed up Scream when they die too. Yeah. That's that's the poison head crab's host. He's all bloaty. Alright then. I thought it was just not using firearms. Oh, do you have to not use firearms at all? Is that what it is? It could be. I it's been a long time. If that's the case, I've already I've already screwed up, so whatever. That doesn't seem too impossible though, so I'm sure it could get if I retried. Yeah, I was trying to get the get a basket with the dog's ball, but it was harder than expected. Oh, 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 oh. Save me! No, no, turn on! There you go. Huh? Ah! Ah! Great, thanks. Oh, oh, Jesus! No! Hey, buddy. You know what? Let's not waste the good stuff. Holy crap, you have a lot of health. Yeah, look, at, look at that compared to those guys. A lot of health. How you doing, buddy? The not man is just an indication that he's not human. Like, I don't really think that's indication that he's Neolith specifically. Do I? How do we get up there? So the Neolith has a lot of very specific stuff to him that never really seems to apply to G-Man. Here we go, I think. Right. Uh, maybe that wasn't anything, actually. Ah! Loading zone. Wait. I think this is where I came from. Yeah, this is where I came from. Damn it. Never mind. I think you gotta get up here somehow. Maybe. Ah, 
Ah, here we go. Yeah, screw you, poison head crab. I think Neolith is just supposed to be a pun on, like, Neolism. Uh... Oh! Fucking hell! I was trying to puzzle! How dare you! Oh god. How do they get up here? Have this. Oh. Barrel, please. There you go. Oh. Oop. Oh my god, they're everywhere. There's like six of these things. Oh god. No. Nope. No thank you. Not buying what you're selling. Here, have this. Have this, my friends. Almost a relief to find a normal zombie. There we go. Uh, what did I miss here? Because I was here. Is there like an operation that I gotta do here? Oh! Duh! I can't believe I didn't notice the lever. You always pull the lever! That's what they're for. Oh, 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 I'm out of this. I'm just gonna leave those guys alone. I'm not really interested in that. I honestly really think Valve knew entirely what they were planning to do with G-Man. Like, a lot of the cool stuff they do in Half-Life 2, like, honestly, I'm pretty sure it was not fully planned out. Like, I think they planned there to be some, like, there was obviously some open-ended questions. Uh-oh. A lot of stuff in Half-Life 2, like, there's some notable retcons and, like, the whole turning Eli, Kleiner, and, uh, uh, Barney into, like, actual people instead of just, you know, rando NPCs. Wait, what? I'm just back out here? Did I do something wrong? Hell. Couldn't shoot yet. Whatever. Wait, what? What happened? What, what, what is this? What was the point of this? Why is this a different area? Oh! A head crab attic. My favorite attic. God damn it. There's too many head crabs in this attic. There's way too many ostriches. They said there'd only be a few ostriches. Oh, fuck. This is too many ostriches. Get up. No, no. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck. Stand still. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I wasted a freaking... This 
was not that was not a way to go. What was it? I can't really tell. I don't remember Ravenholm actually being this big, honestly. I kind of expected this to be over. The sad thing is I'm going to be low on shotgun ammo once the, uh, excuse me, rooftop showdown happens. Woo! Refill my cult ammo. Thank you. Oh, I don't feel bad for wasting that at all. In fact, take that. waste any more than needed though. There we go. Oh, excuse me. Boop. Yep, here we go. I guess I have okay shotgun ammo. Ah, uh, there you are. Brother! I will send the cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother. Guard yourself well. Sure, nothing bad could happen. On a roof. In a town full of zombies. With screaming sounds in the distance. Let's see if I can just. You can see the thing shudder a little bit, well actually quite a lot, when they're climbing up. I don't think the fast head crabs can get up here. The zombies are a little bit too close for the SMG grenade. I just want to blow up the zombies, not the Miis. I actually want to blow up Miis, but just the Nintendo Miis, not the... Me. Z These zombies I could do that too though. Almost there, brother. Oh, brother, step in the <laughs> He just fell off! What a putz! Get out of here. Brother! This is the world's loudest whatever this is. Greetings, brother. <gasps> my favorite! You didn't have to! You are to oh, it's not a 45, it's a 57. My I'm sick. The work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. <laughs> I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for me, the shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. Indeed. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. Mm-hmm. With hallowed zombies. It's a hollow loading, loading zone. I think once we're free of Father Grigori, I'm gonna... Oh, so much about treading lightly, by the way. I just wanted to shoot some birds. Um, Grigori, please. I think no worse of thee. <laughs> He's so forgiving. Yes, come to me. I'm not sure if he can die, but I always help him either way. I'm close to you. I think I'll end the stream once we get uh, get to this next part with the mine. Does he have infinite health? I, I kind of figured, but...
Oh, there's that bird I shot! May the light of lights be with you! Rest in peace. I think it's just playing zombies for a little bit. I'm not sure if no particular threat. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, so much magnum ammo here. Oh. Pain. Watch it, Grigori! Rip. Follow me! Quickly, brother! <laughs> I love when he laughs. these in here. Oh, it was you. I see. Whoa. I almost got a new hat. Where's those saw blades? I break this one too. Oh, I wanted to blow it up with a barrel. Alright, do your thing. Look at him shimmy around! Hurry while I hold the gate. Is he a light source? Or is this always shiny? Oh, it's always shiny. Free, brother. Bye, Grigori. Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. I think I'm going to a brighter place than Ravenholm, buddy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Need a read a summary. There's no conclusion to the story. That's kind of what I figured. I mean, episode three was not supposed to be. Like, episode three was not even supposed to be Half Life 3 originally. Like, it was not supposed to be. Like, it was just supposed to conclude the immediate arc. And I guess the stuff with the Combine Advisor, though, even that would have been interesting. I'm just glad. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to read it myself. I mean, I guess it's not necessarily canon if they do ever end up making another one. So I guess it's not necessarily a spoiler, but I don't know. Something about it just feels dirty and I don't know. I just don't think I should read it. I mean, is it, is, is it, has anybody who's like really familiar with Half-Life read it? Do they think it's like really good, like that I should read it? I'm sure he's he's fine. He's he does he deals with zombies all the time. Just a little fire, and a few dozen zombies is nothing to Father Gregory. Uh, where do we actually-
actually go. Ah, uh, right. Right, right, right. Uh-oh. Oh my god, why are you all in here? Can they jump over that? Oh, you assholes. Oh! Not falling for that one again. Did you hear that? It was like triple the sound effect for the same price. Don't actually do this in real life, by the way. That the water will still hurt. Oh, hello, Barnacle. I'd call you Barney if we didn't have a real Barney. Can you, like, ride this barnacle up? And, like, get things? Because that's actually kind of cool if you can. Because, like, yeah, there's stuff. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm just a barnacle plan. Barnacle man, barnacle man. Doing things a barnacle can. We seem to be at an impasse. Oh, thanks. Um, can I go through here? That was awkward. We both decided the situation was too awkward to continue with and and ceased. Oh, right over here. There we go. If I recall correctly, the car isn't too far off. Uh, what I read was a summary of the script, because the actual script changed the names of everyone. What, really? Oh, right, this part. All right, I'll do this part. Because this is kind of like the last part of Ravenholm in some ways. So I'll do this. Once we see daylight, I'll end the stream. Come to the light, children. That's what Father Grigori would want for you. How did Grigori get to here and then back out? Because, like, nobody else would be crazy enough to set that up. So, obviously, he set that up, but when and how? Oh, there's the light. We're just gonna leave you two. Actually, never mind. I'll still kill you, but not with. See, unplugged. I'm about to start stop the stream anyway. Gee, man, was Mrs. Buttersworth? Wait, really? I like how there's light and birds, and there's still one last poison head crab, just to do exactly that to you. And music. Ominous music. Oh wait, hold on. This is actually pretty cool. I'll show just a little bit more. Because things start to get real here. Oh, still another Zombo. Would you get down? I feel like I'm talking to Parker. Get, 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 go on, get! Whatever. I'll just wait for things to get real. Oh yeah. Rip zombies. Oh, you can't even see me. This feels dirty. Pfft. I love how they just programmed a body to always fall out. Like, it's not a sometimes thing, it just always pushes it out. It doesn't matter where the grenade was. Oh, oh god. But you know, we just start to see militarized combine, which is pretty cool. I think I got something allergy-ish, allergen-ish in my eye or something. It's really watering. I'll, I'll bomb. I was hoping we would see some of the guys with SMGs. Oh, you're not dead. Now you are, I think. Rip. I was hoping we would see just a couple of the military duders. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was hoping he would say shit. Some of them say shit. Ah, oh, yes, the pulse rifle. You get very low ammo cap for this thing, but it's very good. I don't think we get an energy ball for a while, either. Very good use of ammo. Very accurate and nice. Well, not very, but much better than the other SMG. There's, there's resistance citizens in here. I gotta save my butterinos. Oh. oh, hey. Most of them live. Patch Winston! Back as soon as he's stable. Winston! Gordon Freeman. No! Trouble, you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. This Follow music. Me. Winston. You were a good man, Winston. Is there anything I can do? I forgot this is sad. Like, trumpet music was in here. Or not trumpet, but sax or whatever that is. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. The Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Sleep, you know, just blood everywhere. Just take a nap. It's, it's fine. Leon, and I've got Gordon Hi, Freeman with me. Gordon, Hi, Eli. You oh, wait, no, you're Alex. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The Vortigons tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm going to hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than break out. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the ant lions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the Tau Cannon. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. How did they make the Tau Cannon the without, buggy like... Put it on the dock right now. Make Gordon your Freeman there. will be driving it. Oh, whatever. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. I underestimated okay, how much magnum ammo there was. Oops. Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Oh, no, where did that other bullet thing go? Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check a map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers, you'll stand a fair chance against the ant lions. Alright, I'll we'll show an ant line and then unless the ant lions don't immediately appear. But I don't wanna get on the car and stuff. Oop! Ow! My leg! Oh, it lands! I'll kill some of the this for no reason. Actually, this is a bad idea because they spawn infinitely. But whatever. I just wanted to show off the it lands. They're pretty cool. They kill people and doesn't afraid of anyone. Yeah, the it lands are kind of how they keep you moving in this segment. 
And they're also part of why, you know, Earth is so hostile now. But yeah, that's Half-Life 2 for now. Um, I'll probably stream more later. Uh, not later today, obviously. But maybe later this week. Say, Friday or Saturday. And, uh... I think we're, like, a third or... A, maybe even almost halfway through. We're a decent way into the game. Wait, let's check, uh... How many chapters? We're at chapter seven, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're about halfway through. I wasn't expecting to get quite that far. But yeah, this is Half-Life 2, one of my favorite games of all time. And I uh, hope to see everybody whenever the next stream is. Oh, bitrate is starting to drop too, so perfect timing, I guess. Oh, and it's 820. It's, it's the 8 o'clock Mediacom Malady. Good stuff. Good stuff.